heart is bullshit blazing Still my heart is blazing If the word kill me I don't need a new world under you Soon you will know We already know the smell of the That's a lot of all rights. That is a lot of all rights. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, happy Sunday afternoon. Uh, today is yet again another dust tournament. My name is Limit, and today I'm joined by my good friend Takoyaki. Takoyaki, introduce some of the folks watching us right now, please. Uh, hi, I'm Taco. I play Gold Lewis because he's cool. Um, and I'm excited for today. Yesterday was a pretty great uh, competition, and there are still some really strong players. Uh, we did not make it to top eight, so we're still gonna have some good competition today. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Vegeta fell off my counter, unfortunately. All right, folks, it is three minutes before uh, we officiate the tournament. Uh, we're gonna have some really good games today. Uh, I need to update our uh, prize pool right now, actually. Hold on. Let me just do that while we're live on stream. Like, these are things I should be doing off stream, but you know. Sometimes it would be like that. Uh, anyway, uh, Taco, you're playing today, correct? I am, yes. Who do you think, well, aside from yourself, who do you think uh, has the highest chance of taking it all today amongst the people who participated yesterday? Uh, well, let me pull up the challenge. I know that we have uh, Yuki Yuzuki and uh, Meat Man. Those are two players who very we saw that were very players. strong yesterday. Um, Yuki plays Baikin. I can't recall Baikin. what Meat Man plays. Yeah. Uh, Giovanna. Gio, oh. Meat Man 3 owed me yesterday. I was completely lost. So I, th I think those are the two uh, to really watch out for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so we're about two minutes in. Uh, checking in on the bracket right now, we have approximately. Last time I checked, it was 16. We have 17 out of 19 participants checked in right now. Uh, I double checked all the players. Uh, I don't think anybody. Uh, who wasn't supposed to be playing today are playing, so that's good. At least folks are <laughs> listening to our, our game plan here. Um, we might uh, call in the very first match in the upper bracket. Uh, the very, very first game number one, basically, might be called on stream. So if you are watching right now, uh, it might be Parkour and Zaran. That could still be changed as we go along in the next minute for the final check-ins. Uh, just be aware uh, we're gonna have some good games today and of course uh as rules of engagement our tournament is always first to three uh if you're called on stream my name will always be the room code i will always change my name to the appropriate uh room code where you guys can hop on in and then if there's any changes that need to be made i will address them 
uh, immediately if you need to have any scores fixed dm me personally uh, on discord or uh talk in chat in uh twitch chat so i can see it immediately uh, those are the two ways you can grab my attention because if you just put it in the dust ggst discord uh on our little thread over there i might miss it because of how many people are talking uh with that being said it is officially 5 p.m in the east coast everybody uh let's get this ball started uh da -da 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 -da. with the powers vested in me by me <laughs> pass in the check-in results and start the tournament folks welcome to the dust counter 20 uh first on deck uh actually let's not pick uh yuki yuzuki and yz said there let's pick uh chish and zaren to be called on stream first because we haven't seen them at all uh and perhaps we need to put in uh idolo class and goopy gear let's do that because uh, we haven't seen much of these people before. So first on deck, I guess, uh, Idol Class Kupi Gear, then Shish and Zaren will have them uh, stay on deck. Uh... I have to go fight J2. All right, go ahead. Uh, uh, good luck, have fun, and good luck to everybody who have their matches right now. I'm just calling the first match here. There we go. There we go. I am moving. There we go. We are now onto the main stage. We're just waiting for these amazing folks to hop on in. Everybody, I hope you guys are having a lovely, lovely Sunday afternoon. All right. As we wait uh, for these valiant competitors to hop on in, uh, I, it would behoove me to mar start marking these matches right now. Well, let's mark that. Let's mark this as well. Let's mark this. Again. All right, I think we have our first competitor on deck right now. As I mark all of these matches to be on stream. Alright, Zaren is here. Uh, but of course, our first fight would be Goopy Gear. Uh, Goopy Gear and. Where's the other one? Uh, that is Idolo Class. Okay, Idolo Class is on their way. So beautiful. So, Goopy Gear, hop on in, please. First match would be Goopy Gear. Uh, Goopy Gear is on the podium, and then we'll have Idolo Class hopping on in very swiftly. I am just almost about done marking all of these matches to be on stream. Yes, we are. We are successful. So every match to be seen on stream, it is already marked. So please make sure that uh, if you have your match, go ahead and have it. Otherwise, you should be called by myself to be on stream. Hey, Russ. Uh, Cole Chish, welcome to the chat. And Russ, of course. I'm sad I have a match right away because I, I want to see Idolo battle Goopy. Ah, well, you can always put the uh, the stream on the side. <laughs> but just focus on your match, dude. But, but here we go. Here we go. First match on deck, we have Goopy Gear versus Idolo Cost. Here we go. This is a very spicy Soul versus Biken matchup. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, let's go, elf guy. The beasts, heaven or hell. All right, I'm gonna pop in a sepulchral because my throat still hurts. Let's, let's rock. Oh, I like this game. Oh my God, it's the colors are amazing. Soul versus Viking. All right, match number one in your Dust 20 counter. Oh, opening clash. My god, these guys are ready to go. All right, Gunflame out. Your Zansen blocked. Opening volleys are out. Volcanic Vipa. 
Alright, strong Unga Bungas coming out from Sol here. Strong corner pressure. Wall break into uh, C transition. We have tension that is coming in for Idolo class. And with that, that is uh, round one. Very swift. Alright, Volcanic Efforts are blocked. Good defense coming in from uh, Goopy Gear here. Very patient. Kabari into the follow up. Big damage. Oh! We think that grab follows with another fitter is on. Spikin offense is on its way and takes a round for themselves. Very well played, Goopy Gear. Ooh, opening up with uh, the HS into the Kabari, into the follow up. Now in the fitter. Little Sunset with the overhead. Oh, whiff punished the, the uh, Volcanic Viper. All Sol's offense are being blocked right now. Gets a confirm for once. Nice grab into Teether. And Yozansen closes that off. And that is Goopy here on the board. Let's see how Idol Pass will harness their offense in order to catch up in this match right now. All right, folks, we are heading underway into the next match here. Uh, Idolo class versus Goopy Gear, Soul Bad Guy versus Viking. Mankind knew that they could. Duel 1. Let's rock. <laughs> nice opening 6H. Lovely. You'll love to see it. Header is on immediately. That's a bold burst. That is a full tension meter. Alright, wall splat into wall break. That is a C transition. We have tension advantage going to solve that guy. And a very slick, uh, quick smack, and that is round. That is the story of game number one as well. Let's see if I go past can maintain this pressure. A little goopy gear ticket uh, beneath him once more. And the bigger block. Big counter on that. Oh, another one! Little RC to stop that pressure. Gets the grab, gets a fetter. Alright, once more, we are in round number two. Same story from game number one, but let's see if this will have a different ending. Uh, trying to find both of their effective range here. Gets the first connect in the air. Answer back to the Volcanic Viper. Oh, now we are playing Guilty Gear for these folks. There we go, I go class getting first confirmed. Oh my god, drops this, and now Viking is on the rampage corner combos, bounce combos no less. Big damage coming out. That is a wall break. Attention advantage going to Viking. Oh, we have Soul Grab Guy coming out, and he grabbed him! He grabbed him and it's effective! My god! Was it effective? It landed! I'm so surprised that landed. And that is Idolo class now on the board. My God, is this justice? <laughs> hey Chish, hey J2, welcome to Soul Grab Guy. Oh, did, Soul... did uh did he use a uh, heavy mob cemetery? Yeah, yeah, that's Idolo class for you. <laughs> <laughs> he did Soul I, Grab I, Guy. Honestly, I think of all the um. The soul players I've ever seen, Idolaquest uses uh, HMC actually like the best. Mm. It's very surprising. A lot of time I'll press a button in neutral, 
Yeah, and at the same time, it it'll do Heavy Mob Cemetery, and because it has armor, it'll just grab me. It's so funny. But here we go, game number three between the Dual Class and Gucci Gear. Uh, uh, this, this is a Guilty Gear I signed up for, shenanigans like this, and we love my Dual Class for uh, bringing it to us. Nice five feet to check after a. Uh... Oh, I like the counter. Right there. You need the stream. Hold on. No, I'm good. I can see it. I'll put it in. All right. Uh, I feel like I double class almost knew that uh, Goofy Gear was going to go there for the um, cross up, but wasn't able to punish in time. Not going to capitalize off these hits, but finally is. We're going to see close slash HVZ. Not quite enough damage to kill Moa, TK, or Kara. And the 2D after Bandit Bringer, very nice. Idola Class plays the uh, RPS after Bandit Bringer pretty well. So you have to be very good about anti airing this. Oh, six H. Nice 6 H. Ooh, with the parry on Wake Up, gonna beat that maybe Car Slash. 5 H flashing with the uh, DP. An interaction you don't see very much. This will land, this is big damage, into the wall break, I was not expecting it to be that close! Goofy Gear playing very good keep out these far slashes and that uh, very nice air to air JK. Oh, uh, but that, that is was... minus 17, I think. <laughs> a very big move, I know. So it's, it, it's, yeah. But you know what, we love him for it. And Goofy Gear is having a lot of trouble with teams and here in a lot of these. Nice safe jump with JH. I honestly, I didn't know if I can have traditional safe jumps. I always thought she would use, um, well, typically for like safe OP, like you see what uh, Goofy Gear did Ooh, there with the Tommy. The burst, but it's empty. Uh, interesting scenario. We're going to put Goofy Gear in the corner and give uh, Idola Quest uh, some corner pressure, but the reverse. Uh, Yo, Zonson is going to hit that far slash uh, and take game three to Goopy Gear three, now on uh, set point. For Goopy Gear, we are now very up nice. two and one. Goopy Gear is very close uh, to victory here, uh, moving on to the next stage of tournament. But uh, let's see if Idol Class can uh, make them abandon these foolish ambitions. All right, game number four, Idolo Class versus Goopy Gear. Mankind. Duel one. Let me just wait for time to get her. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's fine. <laughs> Now strong corner pressure coming from Viking. Ooh, gonna jump that throw. And a nice uh, Night Raid Vortex to uh, actually put the radar the corner. corner side swap. My god, Ooh, what a strong technique. And I, I think Goofy here expected uh, a Dola class to DP Bandit after that goes on. The wrong area. Uh, but it's very nice. Now Goofy Gear only has to win one round to take the set. Does Bandit, does Bandit Bringer not track? It always just goes. Uh, um, yeah, it goes in a set. Uh, set Jeffrey. Like, so I was very surprised that. DP out of there. Yeah. Very nice. Big counter hitch. Going to drop that combo, but still getting good damage off of it. Ooh, I think that is a wild throw. Yeah, that's gonna be some big damage there. Alright, oh, here we go. Idol class being very passive now at this point. Oh but my goodness. Goofy man. Gear mashing out there with that 5P. Very nice. That's going to be game 4 uh, and a set going to Goofy Gear. Good stuff. Going to Goofy Gear. We'll see Goofy Gear uh, remain in the upper bracket. Uh, but not is all lost. Uh, not is all lost. All is not lost <laughs> for Idolo class. Uh, they will be still be fighting in the trenches here. Uh, Chish and Zarin, hop on in please.
Right. Looks like we have a uh, Potemkin versus Kai Kisuke. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Shish on Pot and Zaren on Kai. I can't say I've actually uh, seen any um, or either of these players before. So it'll be very lovely to see how these amazing players play. Nice opening volley. Nice. Oh, that is a very unique approach to pot that we were seeing here in Chish. They're not using Mega Fist. Um, I, you know, I don't think Mega Fist is very good. This may be a kind of a hot take. I think it's actually very generally good to only use like a mix-up in neutral. No, I'm just very, um, I'm just very re refreshed to see a different take on the, the Potemkin area. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure, yeah. But here we go. Vapor Zarin, takes a takes a round with, with the vapor nice. thrust in the corner. Good stuff. Yeah, vapor thrust and gear that. Gonna throw Zarin out corner. of that. Oh, with that grab. Just a little bit too early on that. Oh, gets Very the nice lick. looking that, uh, the stun edge there. 2k2d bursting out of there. And a nice counter hit 6 a Uh, Chish wants none of that point to burst out. I would say that's a good choice since they're so low on HP and Zarin's up around, but the Pope is who is going to take that game one. That is Zarin's nice. game one advantage. Uh, let's see if Chish uh, can reverse the situation. I feel like Chish is uh, being extremely conservative at this point. Like maybe it's a tournament jitters. Maybe maybe they're a bit tense. I feel like there's a lot. There, there's there's an underlying glimmer of a beast in there that I can see from Shish, but right now, I feel like they're just being very conservative in their maneuvers. Well, we'll see. We will see in game number two here, Trish versus Zarin. Oh, very nice flick right there. Answered back to that stun edge. Yeah, very nice flip to get knocked down, but Vapor thrusting out of that meaty 2D. Oh, gets that grab. Oh. So, you are not, we're not really seeing Shish go for Garuda OP, which is an interesting choice with Potemkin, as that's his main uh, OP tool. It's incredibly strong. Big combos here from Zarin. Ooh. Oh! Punish the Vapor Thrust. Oh, I think they're going to go for you that was supposed to be a heaven. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. That blue RC, uh, uh, I was thinking they were trying to bait up the Vapor Thrust, and it was effective. Uh, J2, I have not played Elden Ring, so... Mega Fist, uh, I hate that luck. And a nice tick throw off the 5k. Full Slash into a charge stun edge. Nice throw there to punish the jump. We are riding the effect. lightning! Oh. He's gonna throw that uh food arc, okay. Mega Limito, Mega Takuyako. Oh, and okay. that is a big wall splat into wall break, into tension advantage for Shish. Uh, no, not gonna get a combo off that uh, counter hit Mega Fist. And the throw going to take the round. That was very close to being around for Chish, but Zarin barely managing to clutch it out. And a nice 5 feet to stuff the back dash from Chish. Love to see it. Mega fisting over that um, stun edge. Are you seeing a little bit of a stutter? Are you seeing a stutter as well? Uh, stutter in the game? No, not really. Yeah. No. Okay, I guess that's just my end. Wall splat. Interesting. I don't think I've ever actually. S huh? Did you see what just happened? Oh, here we go. Heat knuckle into the wall splat. That is big damage and such advantage with Shish. Uh, but so, um. 
So Chish, well basically, Chish jumped over Zarin and did a jump H, and was like way far away, basically behind uh, Zarin. And then Zarin tried to do a close flash as a anti-air, and got counter hit when he was behind uh, Chish. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is Chish finally answering back on the board with a game. We are one in one right now. Also, hi to Exynos, the Kai Classic, he says. Welcome to the chat, my friends. Welcome to Dust Counter 20. If you aren't running up and throwing, you're not playing Kai, dude. <laughs> you say it's reactable, but why did you not react to this run up? Yeah. Rather? I would love to see uh, Chish go for a uh, pop buster on that. Let's rock. Since, right, uh, go, game three. Ooh, nice flick. The mash from Zarin, very nice. 2K 2D. Oh, I love the 5P, just to catch the back fish. Chish is doing that move very well. Counter hits to us. Looks like Zarin knows the damage potential off that starter. Slide had to catch the, uh, the back dash. Nice stuff. And we jump that 2D. Backdashing the throw, very nice. I feel like Shish's movements are very reminiscent of more of a strike character. Uh, I'm of the opinion, and I could be wrong here, that this is Shish's secondary character. I feel um, like... I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. It's um, Shish definitely plays differently, but it's not necessarily like oh, five D catching the no, back. No, no burst. Let's take H all H this damage. H H H huge damage. Big Love damage that indeed. combo. Um, but I mean, Trish is just playing a very conservative, um, Potemkin as far as things go. Not seeing a lot of Mega Fist in neutral. Um, two dust combos in a pretty short amount of time. Uh -huh. Nice throw both there. Did not have burst to stop it. And, uh, Shish is having a lot of trouble dealing with food work, it seems. Uh, you can mash out, Pot can do it with 5 feet. Uh, not gonna block that first. Jump S8. Backdashing that 2S, but the 2H counter is going to take that. And there's a round for Zarin, very nice. Oh, once again, the Mega Fist. But yeah, I do agree Trish is definitely playing Potemkin differently, differently than a lot we'll see. Um, like, not using a lot of uh, Potemkin's neutral tools in the same way that people will. Uh, like Mega Fist, is, uh, Trish is using more as a defensive tool. Um, not only back Mega Fist, which is, you know, the uh, Potemkin patented uh, silly defense tool. Uh, that a lot of people tend to struggle with due to being airborne frame 3 faster than most characters jump. Actually, at least all characters do jump. Uh, but actually going over the stun edge with it, uh, forward Mega Fist, which is an interesting choice there. Uh, and oftentimes getting themselves a counter hit. Uh, very nice. And a 5k from Zarin going to take that round. 5k vibe check closes that off. Zarin is now up 2 and 1. All right, let's see if there's any adjustment coming in from Shish here. Uh, nice, Exynos. Yeah, that's great. Finally got into Celestial after yesterday's dust. Nice. Congratulations. We love to see it. Duel 1. Let's rock. I can make a fist over that uh, stun edge though. The block the stun dip for punishing with a 2P and the reverse hitbox on um, the DP. Um, Chish is having a lot of trouble capitalizing uh, on their knockdowns on Zarin, it seems. The ball splat just barely not gonna kill, it looks like. Uh, but like, yeah, as I said, I feel like Chish is uh, getting a knockdown and is not quite sure what to do. Uh, oftentimes, they'll just see like a close slash far as 5-8, something like that, and can maybe a mix up with the, uh, the good old slide head. 
um, or just a attempt at a plot buster, but we're really not seeing that much, uh, especially with Garuda, which is something that you'll see a lot of Pog use. It's an incredibly aggressive tool, super plus, uh, and a very safe combo from Zarin, very nice. 5k, 5k, no ride to lightning, but it, based off the shimmy they did, it looks like they meant to. I'm going to RT that on uh, Pot's armor. That's something a lot of people don't uh, know they can do, is if you hit Pot's armor on a um, slide head or on a hammerfall, you can actually RC and it will hit Potemkin app. I believe that's three. That is indeed three. Congratulations to Zarin. Moving on to the next stage of this tournament. Uh, let's check in on our competitors. Uh, next on deck, uh, hold on, let me refresh this. Uh, has the, uh, Yuki and YCZ match not, uh, what? It's not done yet. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look into that. That's, that's been going on for a while. Let's check in on them. It just uh, started. They just started? What happened? Okay, I think Yuki had something to do, it looks like. Yuki had something to do, and then, uh... YCZ, I think I said that right. Uh, yeah, YCZ, like, they, their game got frozen, so they had to restart. I mean, you know how long it usually takes to connect, even with the new updates. Uh, yeah. That's unfortunate. Anyway, MPF, welcome welcome to the caster's desk. You want to cast this one with me? Because right now, the only match we have available is literally uh, Taco, our good friend Taco and Zarin. Ooh. Kitty. So let's, sounds, let's have, have sounds them Sounds Buenus. Let me actually, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have it up on Discord. Yeah? Yep. All right. I will hop out of the BC. All right. Uh, next on deck is our very good friend Takuyaki, and of course, uh, Zarin uh, in this next match. This is a Goldie versus oh, a Kai Kiske. I think it's actually pronounced Kisk. Kisk? Yeah. Dual I, I used to say Kisk. I used to say Kisuke too, but apparently it's pronounced Kiss. Kind of like the the Is rock star Michael French Kiss. Say what? Is that a real French last name? Kiss. Probably not. It's named. It's named after. I forget the band they're in, but there's a there's an instrument there's a musician named Michael Kiss. Mm. I think that's where Kai got his last name. Right. Oh, that is a very early scene transition coming in from Zarin as well. Uh, to send Taco uh, reeling into the shadow of such an advantage with Zarin, but right now Taco has health advantage. Oh, punishing that vapor thrust into and the and using that life lead to uh, benefit with all those behemoth typhoons. Uh huh. I love this. Yeah. Zarin, uh, playing out of his mind right now. They're really having trouble approaching Gold Lewis here. Hey, just because they said they were playing out of their mind doesn't mean they were fucking kicked so like, uh, taking names yet. Dialogue says Mega Empathy. Hi there! <laughs> There we go, system. Oh! Oh! It landed. Oh my god. Right in the kisser. Right in the gab. Right in the gab. In the gab. That's takoyaki up one. I too enjoy that snack from Japan. <laughs> actually really good i've had i like there's this uh asian food court nearby me that uh where i could get them uh for pretty cheap and yum mm. well, here we go game number two takoyaki versus zarin <laughs> I mean, it would be nice, you know what they can do? They could put Venom and Robokai into one character. I would absolutely love that. Like, and like, 
guess it could kind of work like misfortune, I guess, because uh, this is misfortune can decapitate her head, but instead of like Venom decapitating himself, it just throws a little yeah, guy out. out. <laughs> there we go. But Zaron seems to be getting his footing back, uh, getting a nice combo in on uh, Takoyaki. And Ooh. not able to pull the Skyfish out before Stun Edge comes. It actually landed, I think. But like, it didn't matter because he was already dead. In this behemoth typhoon. Yeah, Bien, I'm using Robukai's head as a full ball, exactly. <laughs> hey, JK, as long as the chat there. Venom uses Robokai's head to knock the other pool balls around. Instead of like the white ball. And he's like complaining each time, every time he gets up. Love you. He could be like the dad character of, um, Spud. <laughs> Oh, and Saren is gaming right now. Holy. Yeah, definitely playing out of their mind. Uh, that makes it 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, Arxis, if you're listening, yeah, you heard it here first. Uh, Venom's, Venom and Grobokai as a duo one unit. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Just, just credit us once you do it, okay? <laughs> the few times I've played Skullgirls, I mean, I enjoy the aesthetic, but I never can really figure out the gameplay. It's definitely one of those games that are kind of beyond me technically. And I'm getting a ping from Yuki Yuzuki, which means they just finished their match, and uh, I will be able to come as soon as this match is over. All right. Right now we're Actually, at one and uh... um, we don't have we don't have any matches on deck right now. Do you guys want to have it on stream instead? Oh God, me getting watched on stream. Fuck. <laughs> well, if you don't want to. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's fine. You're absolutely right. If there's nothing else going on right now. What say you, Yuki? If you can, if you're listening right now. On the one hand, if I do get three wins against that Viking, I can actually get my gold Viking badge. But here we go, Taco answering back very quickly. Two one, Takoyaki. Delicious. Uh, Rust is saying, Rust is saying, can't believe I'm doing this, but let's go, Kai. And JK says, nice. Oh, guess. shit. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that all that Potemkins hate Gold Lewis. <laughs> and JK is saying, Daisuke's war room is scrambling right now because of the, uh, the character idea that we gave him. That, that's for you, Daisuke. That's for you. That, I, don't, I don't need royalties. Just Dual acknowledge one. us. We're good. Feel free to care about how I played Nervous Side. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Uh, game number four, Taco versus Zadok. Nice run up throw. I think that was a run up throw. Oh, but once again, caught in the air. In, in, th in this matchup case, would, would down with the system become down with the hierarchy? Mm hmm. Possibly. Yeah, because, well, you know, it's loyalty, I guess. Skull loose is just like, we gotta colonize Illyria! But he doesn't want to. He's the. He's the Secretary of Defense. Absolute defense. The absolute defense, you're right. But he could become the Secretary of Absolute Defense for two countries. But Zarin's having none of that. He's like, no, my country. You can't have it. You already got one. <laughs> But uh, right now, um, oh my god, Taco is just jumping over projectiles left and right. Very Why do you think I call Gold Lewis the flying hamburger? He's very limber. And that, and that does it. That will, I believe that's a 3-1? That one? is indeed three game. Two? Okay, with hey, that, kid, I guess... Chat, dude. 
Now we have. Now I have to switch places. The absolute defense is the ultimate offense, says JKS. Uh, no wonder I didn't get a response. What do you mean? Then congratulations to Taco moving on to the next stage of the tournament. Uh, right now, it's going to be another impromptu match because uh, we had we had to wait for the next match on deck, uh, unfortunately. So uh, we'll have Yuki hop on in. Uh, let's call Yuki onto the main stage. Taco, welcome By the back. way, um, Zaren, you played amazingly, dude. You just need to polish up your neutral a little bit and you'll be like real scary, dude. GG's. Uh, well, GG's to both of you guys. But we're calling on Yuki Yuzuki to hop on to the main stage. Also, um, I think MPEF wants you, you to get your ass out of the podium. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're calling on Yuki Yuzuki, our good bike and player. Hop on in, please. Uh, I don't have water right now. Probably should. I take it your jip uh, was to fight the Gorgon? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, to fight the Gorgon, yeah. <laughs> no, because uh, Cage me messaged me on Discord. Uh... Okay. Also, thanks for the hydrate caffeine, everybody. Hydrate caffeinate, please. Uh, we have MPEF with. Oh, this is a lore battle right now. Ooh. This is a lore battle. MPEF is uh, one of our strongest. They are uh, not biking. Why players. did I say biking? Uh, I yeah, Yuki. I feel like uh, I think we've typically seen Yuki play biking, but I believe they're playing uh, pulling out the old main with the May. You block that scalpel very nice. Here we go, game number three in your dust counter, Tony. I don't think MPF meant to join. It did mean to join, but it it was belated. Please kick me! Please kick me! I can't concentrate! <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, well, if that's the first round going to, uh, you, you no know, reward off of that, um... Oh my god, that's big damage already. Oh my god, that's... Oh my... Guys, that was off a stray far slash. Guys, can we talk about... Oh god. Oh god, MPEF is dead. With, uh, the perfect... Okay, Yuki, can I play the game, please? Fuck me. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's a uh, game one to Very Yuki. Swift game one I mean, from Yuki Izuki. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, that's not okay, that damage. I'm sorry, MPF, but it's me. I'm sorry too, that should never happen to anybody. Well, there's some big damage for you. Uh, Runny Lu, welcome to the chat, my friend. Uh, Yuki is in indeed gaming. Yara, welcome to the chat as well. Uh, whoever wins this one will be fighting you. May Larius says Russ. I'm sorry, Emperor, but it is May. We did get we did get some whale gaming. Catching the back dash with the S Dolphin, but uh, Emperor is gonna jump that next one. Block that 2H. Oh, nice before I see. Combo into the hammer. I feel like MPEP could have gotten a little bit more off of that, maybe with a 2H. Oh, big counter damage right now. We have corner gaming on May, and May's best friend is the corner, and that is kill. Isn't getting keyed on against with COS? Well, probably, but I don't think Yuki cares. Yeah. MPEF jumping over that like oh, for free very nice. For real, that's true. Standing in front of a, a moving freight train, and you're trying to see how fast you can run away from it so you don't just die. Nice air throw there. Blocking that burst, good stuff. And that's game two going to Yuki. Can we do the rest off stream? Do you not want to continue the the bracket on stream? We can have it off stream, it's fine. 
Yeah, you guys can move up there I'm if you like. I'm embarrassed! I don't like making Faust look bad! No, you're just making Mei look even more broken than she already looks. Which is like... I don't know, dude, Mei's damage is unholy. Mm. So they want to have... Uh, just use one of the podiums. Um... Yeah, you can go ahead and I don't blame oh, you. Oh, wait, you guys went, still went in. Okay, they'll, they're gonna finish it here then. Yeah, you, you can cancel out if you uh, limit. There's a little button you can press to cancel out if you want. Well, they're continuing. It's whatever. Okie dokie. Alright, here we go. Game number three. Ooh, but the scalpel and the early duff that uh this was what uh MPEF told us about is that you can do that early one to hit and then still have the burst um not hit you that's a very very nice um tech the 5h going to beat out that 5p yuki on set point mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't want to see any more key. Ooh, very nice playing around that uh, item toss with the uh, S Dolphin. I can see why this matchup would be rough for Faust because, um, oh god. Oh my, MPEF is lucky. We are seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of answer back coming into the MPEF here. Absolutely not over yet. Eat your into the clone. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, Yuki's terrifying, dude. Yuki, Yuki Yuzuki is definitely uh, an incredibly talented player. I'm super scared if I have to fight them. You burst out of there. I also don't know my main matchup at all, to be honest. That was really nice with the counter hit JD. Yamada, huge damage. I think that's going to kill. That land because of the wall splash. That was not okay. One round! One round! Well played. That means I won in the end! It's true. Congratulations, Pef. Um, Mayuki, oh, happen, no, stay no, on. I'm stay expecting you to counter pick me. Also, I just gotta say that JD at the end there was disgusting. Agreed. Well played to both of you, though. Well played to both. Well, well played to Yuki. I barely got a, a button in. That that seems like a rough matchup. It depends. Like usually, I can anti-air, but Yuki just had a lot of good calls. Yeah, Yuki was also playing around the air very well, using May's uh, faster fall speed as an advantage to make it harder to react to a lot of stuff. Uh, as well as, um, yeah, I think they also just did their uh, falling aerials very, very well, so that if you were to try an anti-air, um, you would probably trade, mm -hmm. uh, because they were doing their jump H's so very low. I'm a weirdo in that I don't mind trades if because my my goal is to get to take down the other's health meter and if I get a trade then I I get hurt but so do they. All right, but uh, next match on deck this will be Nyara on Soul Bad Guy and then we have Yuki of course on May. Or Biken because I'm certain they use they counter yeah, me yeah, with May. Yeah, I remember they they played Biken as well. That's why I said Biken earlier. Yeah, like, actually if, the matchup between Faust and Viking is Faust favored, so Actually, I, that's a good I, point. I'm not that surprised is... at all that I used the counterpick. I just was well, I'm, not, I'm not surprised in hindsight, but in the moment, I'm like, ah, crap. Well, yeah, you forget that sometimes that people play other characters, right? Yup. Well, anyway, I should, oh. go, uh, I should go and uh, thank JKS for my losers round. Good luck. Round. Oh, the best of losers round. Um, <laughs> and for everyone else who have a match right now, please have your match. So hopefully Parkour and Pizno are having their match uh, going yeah. their way as well. And then after that, we'll be moving on to top 8. Oh, uh, you gotta play the loser this match, JC. That's rough. These are some good players. Ooh, the fake out Fafnir. 
so I'm going to actually hit. Ooh, backdash and that throw. RC, close flash. JSJD, wall splat. Nice combo from Yara. Like to see that. There, see I little class. That's not you're not the only one who does bandit revolver too and do um into fast near. I was not uh targeting you. And uh Nyar is having a lot of trouble with these um dolphins it seems. Oh here uh -oh. we go, Goshawara coming. Oh my oh, god! Oh. It missed. I've never seen that happen before. First thing out of there. Probably, there. probably meant to be a close slash. I think you would be aware enough to bait that first based off of Nyar's past habits, but the five kick and a counter hit that six eight. Doesn't matter. Very nice Yuki stuff. Wins game anyway. one. Game one going to Yuki. What a scary May player. I I wish I was as good a May player as uh, Yuki. Don't you play Geo? Yuki was a uh, Yuki, Yuki. The way Yuki plays is what I uh, dreamed to have been when I first started playing Stride. That 5k is godlike, yeah. Even in older games, uh, Maze 5k is actually pretty nasty. Well, it hasn't actually changed, it's the same 5k, but... It has some really good range on it. It's just like frame 9, I've heard May players complain like, Oh, but it's slow, and it's like, Dude, Gold Lewis's 5k is frame 10. It's slower, and that move's still good. Yours just has longer range than mine. Granted, it's a danger of different purposes, Gold Lewis's 5k is a strange low counter poke, but... Um... Granted, not frame 9 for that much range is pretty good. Oh, I love that conversion there. Seems very good for rift punishing, yeah, that's true. Dude, especially since you can cancel into 3k to get knocked down, and 3k is such a long range normal, it's great. And the big combo, I don't... Ooh, this is gonna be big damage. JD, wall break, barely not killing. Let's just saying, super cool to see some Sol, been too long, the only bad guy around has been Idolo. Same with Bane really, but Yuki really scares him. Oh, and a double KO! Oh, a That's double KO! You love to see it! JH trading with Gunflame, very oh, nice. Oh, you rock out to this song right now. Ooh, not quite gonna clean hit. First and out of there. That 6H was bold indeed, yeah. I don't know whose it was, but both of these characters have to be very bold with their 6 k no, six again. ages. Big yeah. damage though. Great Yamada attack. Big damage and a wall break. The way that Yuki uses Beach Ball is amazing. I really, it really impresses me to be honest. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Yuki is now up 2 and 0. Oh. Let's see how Niara uh, catches up here or answers back even. The projectile lockdown, yeah, it's very good. Yuki optimizing and mathematizing. I HMC'd after wall break here. Ooh, it lived, but maybe didn't get punished, I think. I, I know, because you're the only person I see the HMCs, to be honest. It's really funny, and you do it a lot as well. You do it a lot, yeah. You're very brave, is what we're trying to say. Hey, Ray! I'll just chat, my friend. Is this back near a round start from Niara? Most things ignored entirely. Ooh, that's true. It's gonna be big damage. Keep in mind, all this is with um, the red RC scaling already applied. That would have killed if uh, Yuki did BRC. Alright, Nyar has a corner here. We all know how much soul can be. Oh, no. oh, and he lost the corner. He Anyway, <laughs> that is Post one slash, slash very nice. Back near run starts good if they back dash. Yeah, I would argue that Soul can just run forward far slash, and it's a lot safe. Not only a lot safer, um, but also you get more reward off of it even. Because uh, I don't know, back near is strangely low reward. I feel for um, what it is. Throw rates a good amount. Oh, five k uh, jump cancel BRC. Love to see it. Is that a safe jump with close slash? Looks like it. Oh, jump roll with hard slash. 
We and tried to falling test it. to jump eight should take jump game eight, three and the set. Wasn't yeah, that it's, move it's, nerfed or something recently? One moment. Uh, Maze five H. There we go. Not I have plug five H. Head what did you say? Uh, wasn't jump H nerfed for me? I think I'm not sure. One second. All right. Well, congratulations to Yuki Yuzuki. Folks, you're heading into our top eight. Uh, let's let uh, Yuki rest for a bit. Uh, let's call on Taki and uh, Taki. <laughs> let's call on Takoyaki and Rust. Uh, also, what's going on with the Parker versus Plizno matchup? Uh, give me just a moment, Limit. Okay. We're still waiting for this match to come to its conclusion. Okay, they recorded. Thank you. Uh, so Goopy Gear and Parkour will have their match next. Then JKS, Empath, and then Zyra will have their match next. Alright, alright. Uh, so my very good friend Rust and my other very good friend Takoyaki, hop on deck please. Sorry about that, there are people talking to me, but alright, I can, yeah. So me versus Rust? Yep. Awesome. Welcome to top eight, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Dust 20 counter. Oh, it's top eight already? Yeah. Is Rust Titan going fast? Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Alright, this is well this is special. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a treat. Our very good friend Rust Titan is not walking in with that Potemkin. He is rocking it with a Faust. I'm rooting for Faust now. Let's not say this. What? Okay, hold on. Cannon dust gaming partner position. Plan. Okay. The round start, trap your plan is back that. Uh, the counter hit. Block start. Let's not and say we didn't. So we, that way we can be air confidence that can be true. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm I'm getting distracted by chat right now. Uh, this is a historical moment. Rust Titan on Faust. And um, that will be a very quick 1-0 for Takoyaki. Please remember, uh, well, obviously, Rust Titan is one of our tournament admins. Uh, Rust Titan absolutely knows the uh, you can switch off your character rule. <laughs> but he is not going to do that. This man is sticking to his guns. Uh, yes, I did see the results, Cage. And I will misatsu that kid as well. <laughs> Thank you. Rust Files is pretty new still though, might not be quite ready yet. That is true. I don't know if if Rust just didn't Man want to uh, put Pub Temkin one. against uh, Goldie right now. But uh, game number two, Taco versus Rust Titan. Rust Titan and Faust. I bursted out of that corner. Oh... You're up in the air, we're gonna block. Oh, it, what? Okay. Super is not landing. And once again, we are in the corner. Then this became a typhoon. Uh, would I just end the blind orphan? Yes. With absolute impunity. All right, once again, strong core pressure coming in from Taco here. Yeah. 
And that is a very quick 2 and oh for Takuyaki. Alright, let's see if Rust Titan can uh will stick if Faust got yeeted, that's true. Let's see if uh, Rust will stick to their guns here and uh, play uh, with, a, with another game with Faust. Or will they return? They will not return <laughs> to, <laughs> to Potemkin. They will continue on with Faust. Alright, uh, you know what? Salute. Salute anyway because uh, Rust Titan is a brave man. Man. Salutes to my boy Do Rust. One. Very, very brave man. Let's see some meteors, that is true. Everybody give your powers to Rust Titan. Alright, that is a big damage coming from the Skyfish. Oh, nice XP. Right. Next to hit grab lands and shenanigans are on the floor. And that is kill another skyfish. Uh Taco is at game point here. Let's see what Russ can do. Alright. Bombs are out. Oh, and that aerial grab closes it off. Uh, Takoyaki, very uh, successful in game number one in your top eight. Congratulations, Taco. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting to see the uh, fast choice. I didn't think I'd see that from you. Uh, I think I think they didn't want to run Potemkin into Gold Lewis. I think it, it, they might have. I mean, Rust. You know, Rust, a... Rust is a, one oh. of the most logical people I've had the good fortune of meeting. And I feel like they just they didn't want to bring in Potemkin, which might be a worse matchup or a, worse, uh, a more terrible it's, matchup. It... Yeah, it's 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 Gold Lewis's worst matchup, or Gold Lewis's best matchup, not worst. What? Uh, yeah. That um, matchup is unfortunate for Potemkin. Uh, so I really don't blame you for. But right Go now, ahead. Uh, Moi Rustang and Yuki Yuzuki. Alrighty. Not stand by. Hop on in. Let's call them back. But that that was a very, I would say, a very calculated effort coming in from Rust. For sure, the uh, fast matchup is pretty difficult. I think with some uh, practice, we could definitely make your fast good. It just definitely needs some work right now. <laughs> I, I, I'd imagine it's a newer counter pick. No regret, says uh, my boy Rust. Really good try, Rust. He had some moments. True. That is true. That is true. All right. Uh, we are waiting for Yuki Yuzuki and, of course, uh, Moi Rustang to round <laughs> off the upper bracket in your winner's uh, side of things. And, uh, Rust, if you need... Um... If you need fast advice, go to CPU. Uh, just ask CPU, dude. I've never played a better fast. Uh, so yeah. Speaking of, uh, we didn't see CPU this week. We did not, no. Hopefully, hopefully we can see more of CPU in the next uh, Dust Tournament, in Dust 21. Alright, uh, the lower bracket is slowly filling out, that is good. Um, but right now we are waiting for Yuki Yuzuki and of course There we are. Boy Rustang, right? Yuki is here. Oh could, um should I join the match arena? Uh yes. Okay. Alright folks, game number two here. Uh, in your upper bracket, we have Yuki Yuzuki and Mei Moi Rustang on Gold Lulis. Man, Duel One. Oh, 
right. Very nice. Let's just change the range here real quick. Give me one second. Get back to that to the close slash. Very nice. Also, I really like every like uh, starry story. Goes at the top. Probably should have used slide head though. <laughs> I don't got no slide head on the Faust. Ooh, that's safe, boy. That's a uh, safe, not jump. Safe, stay on the ground. Boku no kachi da ne. That is Rain Warrior, Rain Tsuyuki. Uh, but yeah, May has some disgusting frame data on her close slash. Uh, eight frames of recovery, so. Slower um, reversals will. Uh, oh, nice proportion to backdash that. Stay on corner pressure. Oh my goodness. Dude, Yuki nice has overhead. five head, dude. Yuki's legit five head. Holy shit. Big damage from Moy Rusting. Not quite getting that kill, though, because of the, I believe, RT scaling. And this Big is damage, Yamada, no, no Both Yamada. Shawara is out, well spat into wall break, we still have burst on Moya level. The big whale. No, wait, is that, oh no, no, Orca, my brain. Ooh, and but the projectile went to counter hit the JD. My god. Very nice. Even from the brink of defeat, Yuki Yuzuki pulls it back up. Yeah. Game one, going to Yuki. Alright, next game for the Yuki versus Moi matchup. Let's see if Moi can answer back here. Moi definitely had uh, sparks of brilliance in that last match. In uh, I had thought that he was going to take round two, but uh, Yuki Yuzuki just pulled it right Mankind from beneath him. That they cannot change society. Let's see if so uh, Moi can bring it back up now. Versus gold. Are you turn your noise suppression on by any chance and get some echo? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you? Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna do this. This should not have anything. Oh, yeah, it's better. Man, I hate it when that happens with the drone. Where you get like a nice old 6 8 4 and then. Yeah. Alright, super big damage. And before we notice it, Moy Rustang is on the board, round one. Alright, Moy Rustang, uh, dishing up the offense here, left and right. Uh, Yuki is trying to get back into it. He has to grab it, keeps the corner. Thunderbird is out, uh, the game attack is out, and this might kill! Mm. I will kill, yeah. Very nice! Moi Rustang answering back. Very quick. Hey, Ampef. The bad news is, I'm out of the tournament. The good news is, I got my gold bike and Nice! <laughs> also, oh, welcome that's... back. Happy chaos. Oh, you lost to Zarin. Yeah, they're really good. Zarn's a good Kai, what can I say? I I was able to get a, almost a tricky comeback. Do you at the end, see but... the Faust versus Taco matchup? Duel one. Um... Rust Titan went fast. <laughs> unfortunate to miss I might bring it back. Wait, we'll see. <laughs> wait, there, wait, wait, there was another there was another. There was another Faust, yes. Oh, I'm gonna miss that though. Five king out of there. Ooh, look at the uh, reversal super on the main bar And with nice. the big turn of butter as well. I mean, I had to miss the max because I was doing my own. Slap. 
Faust. If the other Faust isn't out, then yay, I have someone to cheer for. Well, that other Faust is a Rust Titan, so... Uh, but I believe Rust Titan is still going. I think Rust just didn't want to play the, uh, Gold- or the, yeah, the Gold Lewis matchup. Oh! Does that mean someone used Faust to counterpick? Indeed. I'm happy. Faust is considered a counterpick. Finally! Oh, but that, uh, wall bounce combo from me will take that round. More Rusting is whiffing a lot of BTs in neutral. That's a dangerous thing to do. Rusting, if, if, if you can hear this, I'm a, I blow you pieces. This counter hit 5 H confirm that uh, Yuki's using is pretty great. The low 5k, 6 to 4, Waltz, uh, oh! No, you can't do that, my friend. Oh, this is not land. Uh, oh, no, 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 oh, that's a kill anyway. Uh, but you cannot do full churn. Um, if you get a 6 8 4 wall split, you gotta do 2 6 8 or 8 6 2. Something similar happened to me, and I know I was like, I did a double take when I just saw myself standing there, like, wait, what? what? I I'm live? What? 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 Yeah, it happens. Uh, what's going on? I've seen. <laughs> Why do we have a character swap? All of a sudden? You I, think that I, think, I think that was Russ, maybe. No, Russ wears a red hoodie. Oh. That's someone else. Um, but that's I fine. They, know, they, 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 they probably wanted to spectate, but got the podium instead. Man. And here we go, game number four, uh, Yuki Yuzuki versus Moi Rustan. Let's see if Yuki will bring us to a game five, or will Roy close it out here now? Oh, if Moi wins this, winner's finals will have two gold bigs. Two big hey, Moi, please win. And whoever makes it into a... Uh... In the winners finals, or, well, no, okay. If, if there's that in winners finals, whoever makes it into losers finals, you're legally obliged to also play Gold Lewis. <laughs> I mean, hey, dude, I played Darkrai last night. I'm prepared. Oh, that's death. Uh, we got May. Oh, oh Goshawara is out. I want to kill this guy. Um, break the tension of that definitely would have killed if um, Yuki had done, uh, what's it called? Yamada instead? Yamada, yes. But we are heading into a game five, folks. Yuki, Yuzuki, bring us to a game five here. Uh, there is, well, Jaisu, they, um, they wall splatted with 5H, so they can just cancel into it. And even if you wall splat with a uh, H Dolphin, you can get Yamada. I still say Yamada ain't so great. For damage, it does a lot. Big damage. Yeah, the, no, that's what well, that's what allows me to TOD so easily, actually. But when it whips, ooh, does it hurt? I mean, yeah. Do but like, one. there are setups that may can do. Like, if you've ever seen a May get a full um, charged counter hit six H, um, and then they do a H dolphin and then a reverse close slash into a um. Yamada and it hits and then it sends them into like the you know the uh, weird tumble state that like the tension counter hit 6h uh, sends into It's like that uh, you mean Yeah, stagger. no, 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 not stagger. It sends into like this round tumble state and allows me to literally keep tumbling off of Yamada And it's really broken because it does like so much damage Like we're talking meterless 400 on Kai or no, well, meter the 400 on ship, no risk. Or no, sorry, not meter, riskless 400 on ship, like 350 on Kai. It's insane. Never answered my question, you think it's going to get patched out? Uh, no. I don't know how you patch that out. Ooh, very nice. Side swap. Air combo. Nice backdash into throw. 
That 5k uh, A42 setup is one I've seen a lot of people use. I know Darkrai did that on me. I've seen Smoid do it some. Yeah. Alright, uh, here it is. The last round of the last match for the set. Truly deserving of a winner's bracket run for these amazing competitors. Nate is piling on the pressure in the corner. Oh, system! Oh my god. A nice reversal oh, Some turn, boy. some turn, my full turn, some turn. Oh, and that oh, grab. No! no tension to follow up though, but it did not matter. Yuki Yuzuki will be meeting uh, our good friend Taco in the winner's finals. Alrighty then. Is that up next? Next on deck will be Goopy versus Jaitsu. Oh, okay. We are heading back into the lower bracket. Goopy Gear versus Jaitsu, hop on in please. Okie dokie. Kaiser is not here today. Uh, and even if Kaiser did enter yesterday, I think Kaiser maybe just a little bit would have made top 8, to be totally honest. It's, I just have a slight inclination uh, to think that Kaiser would have made top 8 yesterday. I think May will always be one of those huge reward characters on a few buttons, that is true. Yeah, May, May does that. It's not okay. Yeah, Paul Vier. Unfortunately, Kaiser did not participate today. I think they're eligible, actually, but they didn't participate. Uh, did they? Oh, wait, wait. Like, wait, uh, wait, sign wait, up wait, yesterday? No, he's not. He's yeah, not eligible. Kaiser, what am I Kaiser saying? also has won the tournament, like, and four times. Yeah, he's not eligible. <laughs> yeah, so I, was, I was like, what am I saying right now? I was thinking of someone else. Um, but yes, Kaiser is unfortunately way too overqualified for the culture. Uh, J2 is blasting whole life playlist for strength. Oh no. Uh, J2, our resident Takodachi. Uh, by the way, you gotta update the scoreboard. Yep. <laughs> But in the intro rock. Eno versus Bike. Dual one. Here we go, game number one. J2 versus Goopy Gear. Taco win tournament for happy points, says Paul Gear. B2 for enjoyers will take over every turn eventually. Let's go. Oh um, no. We have whole live stands in chat. No, please. <laughs> Gora's still the best, Gora's still the best. Gora, no, is, is that the weird shark person? Yes. Oh my god! Ah, it hurts my brain. There we go. Oh, Eno uh, doing aerial shenanigans here. Oh, nice tech on that grab. Very patient coming from Goopy here. Oh, nice vibe tech on that kick. Oh, cheeky! Oh, get the counter off. Uh, J2 has to be careful of their approaches here now. Goopy Gear knows they will jump in. Yes, the Shady Taco, that's exactly what I did. And that is J2 taking round one. Oh, <laughs> both whipping a throw. Oh, grab whip. Throw whip. Whipping at the same time is always so funny to me. You're a bit, um, you're a bit muted there, but... Because I was a little further away from the mic. Ooh, nice low from Jaitsu. And the overhead and the low is going to hit, uh, Goopy Gear, Jaitsu taking game one. I didn't know Eno, I didn't know Eno was into that. Look at that P. <laughs> Definitely into that. He's probably the one who invented it. 
Oh no! Um, but oh that is, no! That is J2 <laughs> up one. Well. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, one game going to J2. Keep in mind, uh, she's a time traveler. She could very well have just invented it. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not contesting this. <laughs> You've heard too much. Me too, J2. Heard... Me too. No, no, no. <laughs> just heard just enough. <laughs> Limit me to basics. Thank you, Russ. Thank you. Dual one. Anyway, there we go. Game number two. J2 versus Goofy Gear. Whose waifu is strongest? Ooh, but the back there, or the burst, uh, not actually going to hit. Nice oh my god, is he gonna do it again? Is he gonna do it again? Oh, oh, there, the H4 H4 H4. oh my god. <laughs> Goofy got mad. Milia, see this guy knows what he's talking about. Milia's best girl? Uh, fair enough, fair enough. So I mean, I, I have a soft spot of man because she was my first character ever. <laughs> but right up there is Milia and Viking. Gabriel based. Yeah, Gabriel! Nice! Oh. Jason is gaming right now, I bringing forget, all the speakers. During that one, during that one like, uh... Many like beta tournament didn't the winner like get Daisuke to draw Gabriel for them? Uh, I don't know actually. I don't. I don't remember that. I wasn't there in the beta. So this was like really early on. Oh, God. When, I think I think when we only knew of six characters. Hmm. Goopy Gear is uh, a menace with those grabs. Yeah, Taking the game. Goopy Gear's grab game is really on point uh, in this round. In this uh, second game. I think they threw out like fucking no threw out and landed at least mm. nine grabs in that one. He really do be gaming out here. J2, stay confident. You got this, says Poldier. Jobini, welcome to chat, my friend. Potemkin, best waifu, says Jobini. Hey, someone gets it. Dual one. I I honestly Let's think Potemkin run. is the most kawaii in the cast. Fight me. <laughs> No response. <laughs> I mean, there are some Potemkin enjoyers out in the staff, so, you know. I, I, see, I have friends who are I see, the, I see the market And they for are it. all completely valid. And they don't sniff blue. Ooh. That's that definitely death. gonna kill. That reversal super. Now, see, that's when it, you could call it a reversal super. Uh, I mean, I guess. Reversal is um, inputting something within the first few frames of uh, recovering, so I guess. Recovering well, typically from block stun or wake up. Well, yesterday, uh, Limit here called uh, I could do a new. Like, I, I just called it a reversal super game. I forgot what the name super, I'm like, is it really a reversal when you <laughs> lead it up with a combo? Well, I, I mean, it's the super. It's Okay, the super is a reversal super, but who, uh, whoever it was wasn't using it as a reversal yeah, super. Yeah, it's not intended exactly. to be that. And also, some supers aren't even reversal. We're talking about like Amorphous or something. I think it's called like Zansen something, right? I, I forgot. Who's super? Uh, Biken super. Oh, yeah, that's um, a reversal. I want to know, do you guys think that um, Biken's parry counts as a reversal? But one time I had a bike and dust me just so she can shoot me in the air with a gun, and that was the most extra stupid thing I ever had to deal with. But that is a very uh, convincing answer back coming in from J2. Now 2 and 1. Uh, J2 is on the brink of victory here. Let's see if Goopy here can stop these ambitions. Potemkins who put VTuber backgrounds under Super are based. Ooh. Well, I can do that with Eno. Parry is just a unique reversal. I think. Uh, Russ is answering that question regarding uh, if yeah, parry yeah, yeah. is considered it's, a reversal. It's a strange one, yeah, because it beats safe jumps, which please, but, ah, it's broken, make it frame two. Um, they're not broken, it's just really silly. I hate having to actually think about my O key. Dual one. Uh, <laughs> Here we go, game um, number four. Trade rounds start. Um, 
So, a fun fact, oh, very nice from J2 the Goldverse bait. Uh, but a fun fact about, um, you know, sick. Oh, dear. Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, that has a lot of. That is super invincible, Goopy Gear. That's a, a super invincible move. Um, yeah, you, you can't even teleport around it because uh, much like if you it hits the whole entire screen if once a minute you get a uh, touch it. Ooh, very nice though. Bursting out of there. Smashing out of there though. Chopper gonna catch up J2. Jumping at slow, finally. Ooh, nice wire Ooh, the crouch confirmed. Goopy Gear is not letting Jason <laughs> turn them into a pile of goo. Alright. These overheads are brutal. Since they force float and, uh, since they force float and crumple, they're actually, uh, plus, uh, the Yozansen overheads. If they didn't force you into float and crumple, that'd be a bad move. Mm. And float and crumple is, you know when you get hit by, like, a soul close flash or, uh, something like that, and you see, you kind of float up into the air, but when you recover, right. you actually just go back into an action or state as opposed to going into a soft knockdown. That's what Floating Crumpler is. And J2 taking, I believe, game four? Game, uh, yeah, game to four take the and set. that is their third win. Very, very impressive. J2 will be moving on into the next game of the tournament. But mad props to Goopy Gear as well. Mad yeah, props. Also, Goopy nasty. Gear is top eight. So Goopy Gear, if you have a Twitter, let me know. Just post it anywhere or else I'm not going to be able to add it. But well played, my friend. Uh, Meat Men and Zarin, hop on in, please. And of course, to round off this top eight, you will have Meatman and Zarin Hop on deck. And after that, we'll go back up to the upper bracket and check out our winner's finals between Yuki Yuzuki and Takoyaki. So Meatman was actually eliminated early by Moi Rustang. So if they uh, win this match, they're going to have to go back and fight Moi. Um, so... Uh, but first, they do have to get through Zarin, very strong Kai player, as shown earlier. Uh, so yeah, let's get this started. Whenever they're here, obviously. I think Meat Man is here right now. Alright, wonderful. We have our Geo player on deck. Rust, why? I, I, I just want to know why. Oh lord, my hands are shaking. <laughs> Geo play says uh, J2 uh, towards... Goopy. Yeah. Nicely done, J2. J2 ready to go. I hope you ain't lactose Ooh. intolerant. Our battle shall be legendary, baby. Yeah. Uh, but we are going to see Rust Titan versus J2. Uh, Potengun versus Eno. Two players we know very well here at the Dust. Uh, I am excited to see that. Check in on uh, Meatman once again. Meatman and Zarin. Uh, well, Zarin is here. <laughs> Jesu is carried by Stroke, guys. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, Zaren is playing a different bracket right now, so we'll give them, as per usual, we'll give them a one game allowance. So, uh, do we want to have both. winners finals now? Are you guys good to go, Taco? Okay, this is... yeah, I'm, I'm down. Okay, mm. let's do it. All right, and if of course Zarin is still unavailable, uh, after our next ping, we'll have to DQ them, unfortunately. 
Um, but yes, uh, Yuki, hop on in, please, for winner's finals. folks i'm just communicating with our players right now please uh bear with us at this time once again we're calling on yuki to hop on in please yuki said in uh twitch chat they're coming okay wonderful oh there we go i saw it. uh don't want to say it, but i am indeed carried by stroke real facts no cap 100 for real for real Man's a stroking machine, yes. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh. Over's asking if you can bet, please. Hmm? Oh, can oh yeah, bet? I can. Yeah, absolutely. For winner's finals, absolutely. Here, I'll set there we go. Picture. I'll put in the bet right now. Oh, there you go. Maybe All we're right. not playing. I'll do it. It's fine. Okay. Yuki Yuzuki versus Takoyaki. We'll put it up for five minutes. No, two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, five is too long. Yeah. Winners, fine. There we go. All right, Five folks, put in your limit out. bucks, toss in your support. Who will win in this next match, Yuki Yuzuki or Takoyaki in your winner's finals? Alright folks, welcome to your winner's finals here on the Dust Counter 20. We have uh, Takoyaki versus Yuki Yuzuki. Two amazing, amazing competitors here in our tournament right now. Mankind New. Duel 1. Let's rock. <laughs> All right, here we go. Board is set up. We are rocking. All right, uh, opening. Uh, Pokes right now. Nothing so confirmed happening. On one hand, I don't want to root against Taco. On the other hand, odds. Oh, I am a certified Taco Dachi Sport Eater and my boy Taco. There we go. A triple Yozansen landing stuffed by grab. And that is Taco taking round one. Alright, Storm Core Pressure coming from Taco here, but uh, you can use the answers back now putting a pressure on their own. Oh, gets that jab in. Oh, Super is coming out. Will this land? Oh, no turn though. And in this behemoth typhoon, we will take game number one, says Taco. Uh, curse up goop. Holy shit, I turned in. Very first thing happened was three <laughs> Yozansen. Oh no. Um, but that is game one going to Taco. The Taco Dachis rejoice. I feel Taco <laughs> deserved to lose, but so did Dukies. <laughs> oh no. How do me and Russ vote against both of them? I'm just getting every game I see from Yuki makes them cooler in my eyes. I'm rooting for Taco, but I bet on Yuki. Oh no. Uh, lots of differing opinions here. My heart here. is vast and contains multitudes. 
I don't, I don't class also says that. That's true, that is true. I know options Let's selecting right now. <laughs> the good old OS. Let's rock. <laughs> 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 Alright, here we, we go. Game number two between Taco and Yuki. Yuki is back on May. Perhaps May is their true the uh, uh, main. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Here we go, we have, have May combos on deck. And this is a Yamada attack. Big damage oh coming no, out. Takoyaki's worst being used against him because he was the one who managed to throw out on Lawson. Oh, and there it is. From the brink of death, Yuki Yuzuki pressing buttons and taking the round. Holy. Uh, ordering Jalbi with KFC. Oh my god, J2 is based. I need some Jalbi in my life too. Every time we see Tatsugeki, I implore everybody to type in exclamation point wailed. <laughs> there is a command in our chat. I used to play May a lot. <laughs> Sniffing the finest of food. Here we go, full churn. That is a three Thunderbird Super. And Totsugeki got stuffed by the coffin. Maybe the wheel should only come out when uh, the Yamada comes out. Yamada is actually here. That's true. Oh, and that is a P. Oh my god. Taco, calm down. Oh and god. that is game number two going to Taco Yaki in your winner's finals. Let's see if Yuki can bring this back around. Uh, they still have a lot of opportunities another, here. Will we see another character swap? I think, uh, judging from Yuki's character avatar, uh, I think they just play the Mei and Baiken combo. But we are going back to Baiken. Mm. Well, I'm not, I've probably uh, stated this fun fact before, but all the way back in GG1, Mei and Baiken shared a voice actress. Oh. Yeah, they were both voiced by Satomi Kurugi. Mm. And while uh, Kurugi went on to voice May for the rest of the series, uh, Baiken went through several VAs. Yeah, Baiken sounds very angry. Very angry individual. Well, she seems more like, yeah, she's, she's got rage, but she knows when to use it. Oh my oh, god, that parry. Oh, my god. That was so cool. All right, that was a, that was a flashy round one. Yeah, Viking deserves the, that, that win animation for that stunt. That was incredible. Here we go, full burst into full burst. Trust Titan says, wake me up when Viking is voiced by David Hayter. <laughs> oh no. Oh Don't my god. Ah, oh, Anji, I'm trying to do the Ozatsu, but I'm dummy sick. My boobs keep clapping and alerts them. <laughs> and the boobs do be clapping. Right. <laughs> oh, that was a cheeky parry. Did not go into effect, however. Gets that air grab out. Wall splat into yes. wall break, and that is kill, and that is Takoyaki heading oh, well, into grand, grand finals. finals. Yeah, congratulations to my friend Takoyaki, you're heading grand well, finals, sir. Well, well, that uh, also means we get a confirmed interview. That is true. Uh, let's go back to, uh, let's head back to the loser's bracket here. Hopefully, uh, our good friend, uh... Zaren is now available. Zaren oh no! And meet me. Well, I bet one uh, limit buck on uh, on Yuki. Oh no! All my money gone. 
<laughs> no. Hey man, I'd rather lose a tiny bit of money. Uh, but very well played, Yuki. You had me so scared. Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, guess, yeah. I'm guessing you let that one win animation played out because you were just stunned by that throw. Yeah. I was also just eating my chicken burger. That too. I was having a sub earlier and it was delicious. Mm. Awesome set. That is true. That was an awesome set. Well, congratulations to Taco. See I'm you in the grand finals, my friend. I'm so very proud. And, um, <laughs> I feel kind of bad plugging this, but, uh, everyone, make sure you go check out the Metro Reno. <laughs> Supports the tournament, supports the players, uh, like me. <laughs> if I was in your position, if I was in your position, I would have done the same thing. Uh, but yeah, it Halloween. really, it it does help our tournaments a lot, and uh, mm. lets us help on, it lets us keep on doing this for future events, and uh, it's really just totally, uh, totally. Yeah. Pull chicken sandwich. Yeah, chicken sounds good. sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Meatman is here. We're waiting for Zaren to hop on in. Zaren did say they were hopping on in. Ooh, steak fajitas and peach cobbler. Ooh, sounds pretty good. Dude, fajitas are great. Here we go. We have Zaren on deck. I believe that is Zaren. All right, Zaren, hop, hop in the podium, please. Game number, well, the last game right. for top eight will commence here, and we'll run up back to Rust Thailand and Jetsu, and of course, more Rust Thailand and whoever wins this one. Awesome. I'm gonna go grab myself some water uh, and use the bathroom. All right, all right, folks. This is a Geo versus uh, Kai Kisk match up right now. Duel one. All right. Oh, that 2D is way too far. Well, he's eating steak fajitas and peach color. He just said that. And we go 2D into 214K into the DP. Oh, that landed! And we will have a wall break here as well. I like advantage. the super because the dog actually does something. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, that is way too short, but that is plus. Gets that hit off on the standing five. <laughs> And that is Brown going to Zion. Nice comeback. Geo team is S tier? Oh, that's true. Geo players only want one thing in air soup. That's, that's true, too. I just want more dog. The Fisher stage wasn't so bad with that play. Yeah, it's, it's, a, a bit, it's a bit busy, isn't it? This is New York City. Uh, Doug to get you know what I you know what I I would wish for Geo for Doug to get to get more uh, like, honestly <laughs> give it more range by scale I'll be happy. Why 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 are you saying give what you want Giovanna have a Togeki? No you know I forgot what it's called the French not French but the Italian name. Uh, her her dog arrow attack. I think I think most of her attack names are Portuguese. Sorry, what? I think her attack names are Portuguese. She's from Brazil. Is it is she Portuguese? Oh, whatever it's called. Well, Brit. Well, well, the 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 main language in Brazil is Portuguese, as opposed to Spanish. Oh. But whatever whatever that technique is called, I wish it had more range. Is she just gets gimped when she shoots it? Trovao? Is it Trovao? There we go. Unfused Zamasu dog? <laughs> Duel 1. 
That's just sad. But here we go. Game number two between Meat Man and Zarya. Oh, Oh, did not punish that with BP. Punish this one, bro. Do we need a bunny that bites people? Please. No. Oh my god, if we actually got the killer rabbit from Monty Python, that is the only guest character I will allow. <laughs> oh, he tried to run up, grab and put the water seed off of it. Alright, Geo is really struggling right now. Gets to confirm, could not complete that combo. And that is death in the air. Round one goes to Zaru. Alright, uh, Kai has corner right now. Let's see what Meat Man can do. You're a really bad state as Geo if you're just being defending, because you can't even get your meter off. Uh, and that is wall break for Zarin. More tension going to Kai Kiske. I, I still say Kiske, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> all spat into the wall break is a vapor for us. I'm flashing like it's Tekken, baby! Oh god. All, all, of, all of our players are not housebroken. <laughs> and that is Zarin with game number two. Ooh. Zarin's up 2-0. Yep, that's is impressive. Up. Meat Man, Meat Man is a very, very strong geo player. That is true. That just says how high the caliber of players we have now, mm -hmm. even in the lower bracket. Not, not lower bracket, but uh, even in our uh, learners bracket. Yeah, I mean, I also find it looks really funny. Uh, Meat Man destroyed me. I destroyed Zan and Zaren, and that Zaren is destroying it's Meat Man. The, um, it's the Fire <laughs> Emblem uh, Weapon Triangle. Or you could also just call it rock, paper, scissors. That too. Well, sort of. Actual RPS practice. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Meat Man is a scary Geo player. That was a just very just... good block on that uh, yeah. charge dust. Oh, that was so... I, the uh, use of the JD to give yourself plus frames was... I liked that a lot. Uh, but yeah, Zarin is, or no, Zarin. both of these players are just so aware. Go ahead. Z Zarin's on match point. Uh, set point. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's big damage. That that take does. it. No burst. Oh, Bursting generated out of there. burst mid air. There we go. Stop that damage. This is looking bad for me, man. Bro, CSE Oki. I don't know if that was supposed to be a CSC or not, but bro, that's gonna take it. Good shit, Zarin. 3-0. And a very wow. swift Impressive. win coming in from Zarin. Congratulations, now my I, friend. Now I feel less bad losing to Kai. Yeah, dude, Zarin's amazing. Um, doing what I could not, beating Meat Man. All right. Next on deck, Jaitsu versus Rust. Ooh, on in, guys. I'm excited for this one. Jaitsu, uh, not Jaitsu. Is Rust going to bring out the Faust again? E? <laughs> Maybe. Will our good friend Rust Titan bring the faust once more or is that reserved only for takoyaki we'll see and of course be... our our uh our resident takodachi jaitsu <laughs> i don't know what that word means uh it is uh it's the term that uh enjoyers of a vtuber named ina inanis uh, calls her fan base. Oh, VTubers. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, we're back to Potemkin. Here we go. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Why do you ping the Rust Titan roll? Because hmm? the Rust Titan roll is also Rust Titan. I know, I just find it funny. All, all of the admins have their own, like, um, like the roll is literally their name. Because huh. they have access to everything on the Discord. Mankind knew that but here we go, game number one so uh, between Rust and Jaitsu. They blamed the beasts. 
they gonna let the intros rock even though Eno goes on for hours I guess so Heaven or hell A Potemkin is back in the building, everybody. I don't know if that's the right expression, but I said what I said. <laughs> I don't do encore, Eno says uh, J2. Music note. Dual Very important. Love the dive to uh, beat out the six piece. Backwards Mega Fist. Rush Titan certainly loves that move in the corner. Well, I would say, I would, I would say Rust Titan loves Mega Fist all the time. Ooh, big com counter hit combo. 6A, Mega Fist spam is so annoying to deal with. Oh, I... no, not the slumpies! Oh, is this gonna be a set? Yes, this is a, uh, these are two really good players we have here on the dust. Oh, oh just what the barely too late. Probably would have been better there to go for a 2D or a slide head. Yeah, but I mean, that's. I mean, that's the real I, respect, I respect the attack. Jason expecting a burst from Russ. Russ does have a uh, tendency to burst a lot. Oh, oh HPB! Salute, yo, show it! Oh, I threw it. I thought it was death. Uh, oh, why did the uh? Okay, I'm only. Uh, but yeah, there's a heavenly for oh the call out on the jump. The car I heat knuckle gonna set up for OP. Okay, there is something with a um when you get heat knuckle, I believe you have to do like a um a car a slide head if you want a true meaty close play. That's a tough situation. RC and Mega Fist is about a back Mega Fist about to come out. Like the bird bait there with the uh that what's it called? A stroke. As Jesu said, they're carried by stroke. And game one goes for Rust Titan. One Rust Titan. Game number two between J2 and Russ Titan. I would like to, uh, I would like both of these players to win a tournament piece. Also a burger. Okay. Ooh, burgers are good. I just had a chicken burger. <laughs> Oh, nice anti air. Very good. Hammerfall to catch up once Ooh. again with a PB! Love to see it. Oh, I don't know. I'm not even done putting in my salutes. Oh my god. And another. Oh my god. He didn't have to do that. Oh my god. Russ, Titan! Russ! Russ, please! I can't catch up. I'm gonna use up all my bandwidth sending these emotes! Oh, 
Oh, and that. My 6P taking that's game two. 6P and Rust that. Titan looking real strong right now. There we go, 2 and 0 for Rust. Let's see if J2 can catch up. Uh, folks, we are in our final 4 to 5 matches of the night. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us here tonight on the Dust 20 Counter. Keep in mind, we have these tournaments every 2 weeks. And if you play a lot of fighting games, we have a tournament each week, basically. Uh, this coming Friday will be Skullgirls, and of course, we would love to see you on the next Dust Tournament, so hang on tight uh, and enjoy these uh, last few matches. Oh my god, the <laughs> infinite from J2. Oh no. Oh god. Oh my, oh. HPB. Oh, oh my goodness. No. Oh, that's so unfortunate. If Rust didn't Rift RC, that would have hit. I uh, want to say hi to my good friend Malva Z. Hello, Malva. Welcome to the chat. Oh, no. J2, man. Come on. Uh, well, that's some big damage. Not quite a kill. I've noticed that uh, that super, it does like half health at full HP. But then with, oh, um, God, like, when... You know what the water sports. Uh, and Jaysu's not actually punishing these Mega Fists on blocks, despite I believe having a really good tool for that uh, 2k into like 2p. I think 2k is uh, frame 6, so let me check. Yeah, it's frame 6, so it will actually punish Mega Fist. Yeah, I would, I would uh, imagine that it does. Yeah, it does. Um, JC is very good about uh, jumping these slide heads. Very nice first bait. Oh, across the screen! And the HCL! Jaysu answering back with the game. Very nice. Mm. Very nice, very nice. How did I. How did I just open Discord by pressing a button on uh, my fight stick? Uh, is your fight stick, uh, does it have like multiple setups? Like, does it have like a PS4 button and then an H Xbox button and then a PC button? I have... No, it just has a bunch of... But I don't know what they do. I mean, I, I built it and I don't know what the buttons do. <laughs> I have like six buttons and I know this one's the menu button. This is the one I don't want to press because it brings up an annoying Steam UI. And this is the preset training mode, but then there's like four of them that are like weirdly inconsistent with what they do. Oh, the is doing alright. Oh, wonderful, my friend. Well, right now we're doing the dust. Yeah. Hope you're enjoying your night tonight, uh, Sit back, relax, uh, enjoy some of these amazing, amazing <laughs> person out of it. I personally am doing great. Oh, oh my love the God. punish there. Gotta get some sleeves. <laughs> so that's just like, no, you don't get to do that. I wonder how many salutes Rust Iron has contributed to your chat. Oh man, you're so many. I'm so <laughs> Oh, that's another one. And there's another one. He simply does not miss. And uh, J2 having a lot of trouble dealing with this 2D Mega Fist nonsense. Uh, but finally getting a good old hit in, losing some Oki. Very good with these overheads. Oh, Miffs. Miffs, Whiffs, HPV. Miff, Miff, Miff. And Rust Titan taking game four in the set. Good shit. Love to see it. Love to see it. Well, of course, we love J2 as well. Jason, you did great. Oh, okay. Alright, next on deck, Moy, Rustang, and Zarin. There we go. Zarin is already on deck, wonderful. Uh, we're just calling on Moy to hop on in, please. Then after this, whoever wins this one will be fighting Rust in loser semis. Then whoever wins that will be fighting Yuki uh, 
on losers finals and of course we'll have the grand finals with takoyaki and whoever wins that set GG's Jason, always crazy stressful, but a ton of fun, says Rust. Uh, J2, you did good, uh, says Polvier. Oh yeah, I have to run the predictions. Uh, let's see. Oh my god. I forgot to run the predictions for this one. <laughs> Sorry. I'll run predictions for the next one. Uh, so we have Zarin here. I apologize, guys. I'm a bit uh, not feeling the best right now. I think I have a fever, to be honest. No. Uh, I hope you feel better. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. I'm trying to. I had the, uh, I've had a sore throat all day. Oh, jeez. Yeah. It's, it's that you, time of you feel the better. year, I guess. Oh, allergies are. Right now, we have Moy, Rustang, and Zarin on deck here on the Dust 20 counter. Ooh, blocking that DP. Zarin loves those DPs. They run up DP or DP on the wake up. That's Zarin lives for the reversal. Oh my god! <laughs> that looked like something I would do. Right, quick prediction for this match. Tossing your limit buffs. Who will win? Zarin or Moy Rustang? Block that. 5k? 6h? No by the lightning or uh, the, the other one. And a 6p to call out the jump. Very nice. There in place of Kai, how I would play Kai if I knew what I was doing. Uh, yeah, I I totally agree with it. Yeah, that's comp oh my, yeah, you would do that. You would absolutely run up PP. The 6p in the throw? Just barely not killing, that's unfortunate. But the Vapor Thrust is going to take that game one there. Very nice. All right, congratulations, Zaren. Game number one. Let's see how Moi uh, adjusts their gameplay here. Catch up. Alright folks, heading into game number two between Moyo Rustang and Zarin. He plays like you tie it much better and everything. And uh, doesn't use um the uh, sacred edge constantly. Love that so I'm stealing that by the way. I, I, I'm more of like I hope you don't hold here here. Like Zarin is playing Kai if I knew how to play Kai. <laughs> All right, more wrestling is up now. Let's see how Xaron will retaliate here. <laughs> so funny. Run up DP. Gonna catch that jump though with the JS. Love to see that. <laughs> DP, yep, throwing him out of it. Oh, okie dokie. I mean, yeah, if it works. Six speed to punish that. Oh, backdashing the throw. I'd love to see it. Oh, just too late on that uh, close flip. Just barely. Overhead into overhead. BT, 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 and the Kai is dead. The Good Kai stuff, is Moi. Dead. Moi is now on the board as well. Rest is saying, one just needs a few more mid screen ride the lightnings, reversals into wall breaks. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that also sounds like something you would do. Here we are, we're heading into game number three. Moy Rustang versus Zarin. Duel one. Let's 
The pro after the 2B, close slash into a. Uh, there we go. Moy is having a lot of trouble with these, uh, these throws from far away. Yeah, Wall splash. Very nice indeed. Taking advantage of Moy being scared to press anything and going for a lot of these run up throws. Not quite going to punish that uh, with throw right there. Ooh, Ooh, that's a burst the, right there. Yeah, that hesitation coming from Roy really did them in there. Uh, we are Roy. moving into round number two here. Let's see if Moy can punish back. Not punishing uh, there into that... Uh... Oh, I love the movement around the stun in there. That was very clean. Uh, but Moy is having a lot of trouble playing around Fluterar. Over is saying... I play Kai, but since I don't play this game, I just quick slash sometimes or miss input. Alright, Fulbear, thank you so much. We'll see you in a bit, my friend. Uh, Idolo class can confirm, says Rust. Oh, it's a whiff throw there. Close slash 2H, very nice. Love to see some good uh, ball boost gameplay coming in from Moira State. Alright, we go round number three. Good DP out of there. I love the awareness there from Moy with the 2k catching the landing. I love that. Man, Moy is no joke, but Zareth is really making him doubt his opinions. Okay. Oh, opinions, options. What am I saying? I don't know how to read. <laughs> oh my goodness, and that is Moy taking game two for himself. Uh, we are Very now nice. up to in one versus Zarin. Zarin has to make a pretty big change uh, if they want to win this. Or just uh, start playing better than Moy. Because uh, Moy right now is really uh, on a rampage. We got Gold Lewis Grand Finals. Please. We're gonna have a gold Lewis mirror grand finals. Is that what you guys want? I'm done. If I if I lose, doesn't matter because gold Lewis wins either way. I mean, back when I got grand finals, I was this close to getting a thousand mirror grand finals, but Rust Titan ended up beating Bloodsmith and losing finals. Yo, just two in tackle in grand finals. Let's fucking go, this kid. Hey, kid. Welcome to the chat, hey. my friend. Yeah, I made it to grands. I'm really proud. Big tone ran for that too, I think. Ooh. Yeah, dude, Rust, you played like three uh, Fausts in that. That was ridiculous. Are you not going to be there for it? Bro, punish on the JS. Oh. Catch what in the VOD? Oh! When, uh, Rust Titan used Faust again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and System Down. Oh. Oh, that enough to kill the the chat? I mean, the... The, the, the... Yeah. Uh, game. Zaren might have closed the game after that, but... That is indeed um, Moy Rustang winning that set and is moving on to the next stage of the tournament. Moy, please stay. Rust, hop on in. In your loser semis on the lower bracket, we have Moy Rustang versus Rust Titan. And, uh, I actually see the Faust again. Yeah, maybe. And uh, Moy, if you um, if you hear this, I I've got something for you after this tournament. I want to show you. I think it'd be really helpful for you. I don't think they're in shed. Uh, uh, but I, I don't want you. <laughs> if you make it to grins, I don't want you using this on me. So uh, I'll wait. Uh, but yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. You've been playing great today.
I think I've actually fought Moy before. Really? In, uh, in uh, matchmaking VC in the Strive server. <laughs> oh damn! A random place, but uh, yeah, I think I fought them. Uh, also, I want everybody's opinion on this. I just like I would just like to ask because I've been asking everybody. Uh, if you guys look at our Discord, I made a new emote. Um, who is knowledgeable in chat right now regarding Twitch? Uh, the vague voodoo magic that is Twitch TOS. <laughs> I'm not that sure. That is exactly what it is. It, it is um. Confusing to say. I, the I put least. it earlier, but I, I got nervous because I don't want to lose instant upload privileges, so I removed it. <laughs> so, uh, if you guys, if you guys are aware, if um, I'm gonna put it in Discord right now. If you guys look at general chat, you'll see the. Um, we'll see the emote. I'd like your support on this, people. Uh, just because, but anyway. Uh, next match pick on Jack first time versus counter pick. <laughs> oh, Moy is rocking the oh uh, my Jack. God, oh, what? no way! Piping hot, popping like popcorn. Society. What <laughs> is that? The actual lyrics of the song? That is the actual lyrics of the song. Why? <laughs> it's piping hot, popping like popcorn. It's all mine. You can hear the bell ding dong. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the counter so... counter pick. My god. Alright, here we go. We have the Rust Titan versus Mo I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> uh, it what is, it is what it is, into? I guess. Is Moy doing this because they think it's legitimately better? Or do they just think it's funny? <laughs> Oh, they Jacko. they know Jacko combo, so I think they actually know what to do here. Like these Jacko combos aren't exactly the easiest things to pull off. So I would say uh, they really do play Jacko. Rust and they have the mask actually, on. Rust does actually seem to be dealing with it perfectly fine, uh, at least so far. Yeah, they have very strong Jacko pressure. Maybe it's their secondary after uh, Goldie. I had no idea Russ used Bowser's secondary. Russ, mwah, mwah, mwah. You have amazing taste. And Russ actually taking the first round. Uh -huh. Love to see it. Yeah, love to see it indeed. Normally, the best Jacko matchup is Jacko favored. It's one of the few matchups that is Jacko favored, from what I've been told, but. You would not be able to tell with how Rust Titan is being able to handle it so well. Well, here comes the party time. Oh, a party nice time 60. Is over. Oh, good oh, stuff. Oh, no burst to stop that pressure. Yes, nom the donut. That was an interesting interaction. Uh oh. oh it's not good for Rust. Oh, without the placement of the minion there? So nice. Oh, love to see that. And the Jacko run up grab holds his oh, off. That looks fun. I want to turn on that thing three. You see what Jacko was doing? I'm afraid of dropping on it and landing on my head and dying. That's true. That's a good point. I would just do it over like a, a pillow or something. That actually, that would not help. What am I talking about? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that would not help at all. Oh, this is some amazing pressure coming out. Oh, but the five P to stuff that seems like Rust Titan really knows uh, what to do in this match. Before uh, I Moy... love how about how about five P is a valid mash option. It's so good. It's actually yeah, fairly good. A uh, fairly good move and. Moy managing to clutch out that game one after um, Rust Titan took that very nice first uh, first round. The counter 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 pick. The oh, counter no. counter counter pick. Let's see if Rust will stick with their guns on Faust, or well, will they go it back? It sounds like to not. Uh, looks, 
Yeah, it looks like they're gonna switch to Potem. I mean, so I mean, to be uh, fair, uh, it looks like uh, Moy is stuck on Draco, so mm -hmm. at least for now. All right, we are heading into game number two between Rustide and Moy. Uh, Rust is back on the pot. And Moy is sticking with uh, Jacko open sheet. Because they have to, but <laughs> we're playing Jacko still. Oh, oh, that is a raw dust. Yeah. We have burst. But um, while this may be good for this round, if you think about it, if Rust Titan uses this as uh, to their advantage, wins this round, uh, Moy can go put, uh, can go gold with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Is this gonna be counter pick after counter pick after indeed, counter pick? I think these players don't like playing a lot of the matchups around each other. Uh, but there's none where they're both comfortable, so they're just going to keep on uh Oh, changing. taking the mask off. Bursting out of there. Oh, that grab. Oh, yep, yep. It is what an HPB. Think? Oh my god, this is gonna be big. Oh, you're short. That's the wrong emote. Oh, if only Potemkin had a mask for moving animation. That would be really cool. Five k to stop that. Uh oh. Oh no! That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. That's a JD. I'd like to see that. Oh, but this is looking rust. Rust for rust, Titan. Oops, and the servant throw going to take that. Alright, Moy is Looking. sticking to their guns and they're still on uh Jack O. Well they can't change anyway. So <laughs> it looks, looks it looks to me like um Rust Titan is stuck on Potemkin for the rest of this uh set, right? Uh, they can't lose yes. another game. So if Moy loses a game, they can freely go to they Gold can Lewis. Quickly go to Gold Lewis and have a uh, matchup advantage. This is a uh, really rough spot for Russ to be in. You gotta beat Jacko and then you gotta beat Gold Lewis twice. And this is a very strong Jacko. And Jacko's not even that bad of a matchup for Gold Lewis, if you ask me, or for Pot. Um, I, I mean, well, okay, I would imagine it's not great for Pot. But I definitely would say it's better than the um, the gold Lewis one. So, a uh, nice throw there from Rust Titan. Why are out of there? This fake out of cross up overhead, very nice. There we go. The attack minions. Ooh, nice. Tara buffs a round start. Ooh. Nice oh, that's a PB. Oh my god, that could have been death if uh, Russ did a uh, hammerfall cancel forward and then did super. But, doesn't look like it matters. The hammerfall there is going to catch Moy's back dash. Alright, we're heading to round number three here. Let's see if Moy can close this off. Or will Rust Titan stick in it? Oh, with that grab. Very nice. It's looking bad for Moy, but there's still definitely um possibility. 
and the Hammerfell are going to take it. But I would imagine that Molly is going to swap to Gold Lewis now, and this is not a spot that Rush Titan wants to be in mm -hmm. whatsoever. But, but, uh, Moy, Moy could stick with the Jack O. Like, they don't For have sure. to change to the Goldie. And we'll see. It looks like yeah, they're they sticking are sticking with the, with the Jack O. Interesting choice. Personally, I would have definitely gone uh, Gold Lewis there, forced the uh, matchup out of Rust. Although, I would say. Uh, Moy does seem pretty confident um, in their Jackos, so... And they're very, very good. For sure. One of the better Jackos I've seen. We don't actually have many Jackos here on the Dust. The only two I can think of are, I guess, Moy as well as uh, Turtle and Beyond and uh, yeah. Fizno. Uh... I Sifu is also Jacko, a Jacko right? that we have. Oh, Jacko. I'm Sifu, right, yes. And Molly is playing that RPS around slide head very well. Uh, jumping it a lot. 6k, close slash, 2h, Garuda, Mega Fist. No wall break though. Wonder if Hammerfall would have been better there. Gold burst. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm mad for you, Rust. That should have hit. There's a counter hit. You got your defense minions on. No, attack minions. I don't know which is better. Looks like the attack minions are a little bit better for this. Okie dokie. Oh, I get the I get the point, Moy. I get I think I got the message just a little bit. <laughs> Very well played coming in from Moy and is now at set point. <laughs> oh, oh here we no. go. Oh, Another no. one! I'm not even through putting in my first step! Oh my god! Dude, I'm just gonna put in a lot, because I don't want to do it twice. Alright, here we go. Here we go, we have minions on deck once again. No minions are out though. Oh my god, the relentless pressure. We have Gigantor Kai coming out. And 5k, he made the 236 k gonna take that from Moy Rusty. Very, the, very good stuff. The Jack OBNB closes that off. Very well played for Moy Rusty. Amazing uh, gameplay as well coming from Rust Titan. Um, but we will be seeing Moy in losers finals. Moy, stay in uh, the room, please. Congratulations to Moy on the amazing gameplay coming in from Rust. Hold on, let me. I need to message. Go. I just need to message. Um. While I'm messaging Moy via the match arena. Uh, did you join Taco? Join what, the, the match arena? Yeah. yeah, I did. Are you... Wait, hold on. Dragon... Dragon Lolly. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Um... That shouldn't be me. I okay. would assume that that is Yuki. Okay, they, they confirm. All right, all right. Uh, hop on in main stage, please, Yuki. Extremely GG's moist says Russ. That is true. Extremely GG. But here we are. Uh, we have Yuki on deck with their Biken. 
And I think Moy is trying to maneuver his way into the match arena right now. But they're definitely just there waiting for uh, themselves to get in. And then we'll have grand finals, whoever wins this match. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you guys have been awesome. Thank you for another successful uh, dust week. And uh, we, have, uh, we have these tournaments every two weeks. And of course, we have a tournament every week. This coming Friday, we have Skullgirls. And if we can get the scheduling properly done, we'll have BBCF very soon or maybe something else. Uh, it's just unfortunate that uh, the stars did not align last week and this week for us to run that. Uh, but we'll be doing it soon. Oh, that's nice. If in my view, if I accidentally reload my page, I can still see the old chat. Oh, because you're a mod now. You have. Yeah, if you can't, if you aren't, you can't see the old chat. Yeah, if you're if you're not a mod, you can't see old chat. Because you can see, you can see the history of the chat. Yeah. Alright, uh, as they are prepping here, folks, uh, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. We have Yuki Yuzuki on deck and Moi Rustang. Oh, wait, what? Moi has another secret character. Leo. What is this? Yo, I gotta do this a prediction. This guy plays everybody. Looking on his um, profile on Scribe Community here, let's see. Anji, Viking, Chip, Fast, Giovanna, Gold Lewis, Happy Chaos, Eno, Jack, Okai, Leo, Nelia, Ram, Soul, Testament. He has oh, all goodness. of them as veins. Anyway, predictions are up, folks. Who will win in the Losers Finals? Is it Yuki? Is it Moi? Put in your limit box. Who will win? Let's see. Moi for Leo, too? I, uh, sorry, I, just, I, uh, <laughs> I had to go AFK for a second. I'm just like, wow. He, this guy has all the characters unlocked. Like, will we even actually get a Gold Lewis mirror? Who uh, knows? I hope. If we go into Grands and Moy doesn't play Gold Lewis, I will. That would be just a disgrace. Oh, gets that parry. How about this? Maybe, like, me. Bleh. If you, if you end up winning, maybe we can have a special exhibition Gold Lewis mirror if they don't do the mirror. Maybe. We might have enough time. We did start early. What on earth just happened? Uh, that is uh, Moy's Leo winning game one in your Losers Finals. Holy moly. Ooh, the counter pick with the May. Nice. Oh, we have the May pick here. Uh, Yuki saying, you're not the only one with multiple characters on their team. I'm bringing out my May. Man. Duel one. Oh, nice jump HS. Bursted out of that pressure, though. And uh, Moy is really good. Oh, goodness. Oh! It's the counter hit! Nice frame trap there. Big damage. Stalverbal. Hellfire! Hellfire! 
I don't have music on, but she sounds like you're singing. Ooh, nice throw there on a cross up. Oh my god! The optimal jump jab? <laughs> no, what was that? I've never seen that conversion before to JZ. And nice catching that back dash with 2 3 6 H. Nice stuff. Flash kick out of there. Stance the burst. No super there. Oh my! We're saving it for that RC. Good stuff. All right, good yeah, stuff I indeed. Just, the super would have killed there, so. All right, uh, but yeah, good Rustag. stuff from Moy. Set As point. A, oh my God! So quick. As Yuki in a really tough spot here. All right, uh, Yuki is uh, keeping their May. Leo is like hit from Dragon Ball. This is the stance. Who's hit? If if Dragon Ball had better net code, you guys would see that. Yeah, code. actually, to, I I can't lie. I tried that recently with a friend, a uh, Pulver actually. Uh, it's it's pretty fun if you don't know what you're doing. It's it's such a good game. It's. It's so funny. It's just disappointing because of how bad the net code is. Yeah. I have another streamer friend that, uh, that I played with. Like, so yeah, this guy has a god setup. Like, I have a pretty decent setup myself. And... We we had like, plus five frames. It was... Okay. It's kind of normal. Damn. And it wasn't like a distance thing either, because he's from the US. Oh, well, I'm Canada, yeah. but it's not that far, technically. But let's get back into the action here. Uh, Boy Rustang still in a very significant lead here. Uh, but Yuki has burst. We have meter, we have uh, a lot of resources. Uh, there we go, spot. burst is used. Basically, a battle to see who wears orange better. That's true. I like the awareness there from Moy not to go for two pieces of safe because the uh, 2D hit airborne and put into, um, what's it, uh, into soft knockdown instead of hard knockdown. That's set point for uh, Moy rusting. Yuki backed up into a corner, not uh, in a great spot right now, throw to punish, 2K2D, big damage on Yuki. Plus the built-in delay too, yeah you're right, parkour. It's such a great game offline. <laughs> Terrible game online. Uh, but here we go. Oh, we have May Bounce combos here. Let's see if Yuki can take back Yamada attack coming out. Ooh, not enough wall splat to have for that to land. Uh, they may they may have used uh uh Goshawara there instead. But doesn't matter, gets the closing anyway. Yuki finally taking a round. The YRC bait there, very good, but uh, Moy fails to capitalize on it. Doesn't look like he needs to, though. Mm -hmm. Flash kick out of there. It's what, not yeah. a safe jump. I mean, I know people complain about Leo a lot, but one thing I've always loved is, like, whenever he gets hit, just look at his expressions when he gets hit. They're the funniest shit. Yeah, it's pretty good. Especially if you just like jab him. <laughs> the way his head tilts is so good. <laughs> and the overhead. BTH taking it for a moy. And that is it in a straight win. Moi Rustang is heading into Grand Finals. But amazing, amazing win. Uh, sorry, amazing, amazing run. Regardless, Yuki, you know we're fans. I'm a 
personally i'm a fan big fan of your may gameplay so thank you so much amazing run today and we'll be seeing moi rustang in grand finals but with that being said moi if you can hear me please hop on in any voice chat i'd like to hear from you for a little bit um yeah, for in the a quick uh, interview takoyaki, would you like to interview yourself uh yes hey taco how are you uh feeling uh I, <laughs> no uh i mean i'm i'm excited going into this grand finals i it's my first grands ever actually really? so i'm feeling really good yes it oh, is congratulations my friend. Ah, high five uh Clap. leo yes leo is very good um but yeah i'm also really proud to be going on the winner's side i just uh, proud of how I played throughout the entire um, yeah, you have tournament. Even if you play, even Moi, if you are you second. are you willing to go into a quick interview, my friend? Um, I'm also proud of that um, the players I went through. I feel like I had a difficult bracket and I managed to overcome. I went through uh, Jetsu, Zarin, Rust Titan, and Yuki to get here. Yeah. So I'm very very proud of how I did. You should be. Uh, Moi, just hop on in any voice chat in the Discord, please. Anyone will do. I will move you to the caster's desk. Any of the voice chat. You should go to the hands-free speech tab, and there should be four voice chats available for you. Our voice rooms. Just hop on in any one of them. I'll move you to the caster's desk. Give us the gold, Lewis mirror. He said, "All right." <gasps> I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna get it. The big booty grand finals, and how fitting for uh, the Dust XX counter. All right, XX Core Plus R. Uh, uh, hello, Moy. Welcome to the grand final stage, my friend. How are you feeling? Yeah, oh wait, we can barely quiet. hear you. Let's let's maximize it. Moy, there we go. Uh, do you mind speaking closer to your microphone? Yeah, sorry about there that. There we go. Lovely. How are you today, my friend? How are you feeling? Welcome to the grand final stage. Uh, pretty good. I'm feeling pretty nervous though, since this is my first tournament. Ooh! Your very oh, wow. first? Yeah, I'm, well, I mean, technically, I guess yesterday's was my very first, but yeah. Damn. Well, congratulations! You got into grand finals in your first tournament. I mean, technically, the dust is a twin tournament, so this is still his first tournament. Uh, so welcome, congratulations! Um, you're up against one of the casters in um the dust tournament uh hey, my very good friend characters taco do you have packing in there anyway it, I, have a, I have a few no just a couple um a couple. you better not go anybody but go lewis i'll be no no no, no, no. Let, let let man, you, you know what just for you taco i'll whip out happy chaos oh no, oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. no it's gonna be cursed um <laughs> oh, shit. So here's the thing, Moy, you're guaranteed a spot in top 8, obviously. Which mm -hmm. character should I put on your profile when I make a banner later? Well... I guess Gold Lewis? Gold Lewis? Alright, we'll, we'll stick with the Gold Lewis. Oh. Alright, uh, Takoyaki undefeated. This man is undefeated in the whole of the bracket. Um, how are you feeling, dude? Uh, good. I'm just really proud of how I've uh, been doing. Very nice, very nice. So here's the thing, um, if anybody reason. doesn't know, I mean, if you guys are a part of our Discord, you guys would know that one of our uh, most upstanding uh, members in our Discord is absolutely Takoyaki. Not only is he very knowledgeable in the game, he has helped us with this tournament, helped me with the tournament, uh, support it in terms of not just casting but being a connection tester and of course uh, as of yesterday he became a mod in my channel so thank you so much I've, I don't think um, if I've never said this before please know that I am incre incredibly thankful for the support you give Taco and I'm, I'm very happy that you're here on the mm -hmm. grand final stage uh, but yeah. of course Indeed. nothing is free you have uh, uh, you have an incredible competitor in Moy mm -hmm. Rustang and he will definitely try to get your head and try to uh, claim the grand finals win for himself. Any uh, words towards everybody? So, so Moy Rustang, I've been wanting to ask, if you end up winning the dust counter, will all, uh, all the participants in the next dust need to wear tiny mini skirts? What? Maybe. <laughs> That's a full metal. Oh, reference. yeah, you're right. I just I just got it. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm slow. I'm, no, I'm sick like... today, guys. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I I'm just gonna, got well, I'm gonna go quickly go grab a drink, but I'll be back. All right, oh uh, gentlemen, any parting words before we head out it? into the grand final stage? Good luck and yeah, have fun. All right. Okay, um, so if both of you guys want to leave the voice chat so you guys aren't sure. distracted uh, Although, with yeah, MF and I. I hope Mike Grands would be pretty funny, but I think we'll, oh, yeah. uh, we'll leave. All right, well, let me I'll take this right opportunity to drink. quickly thank everybody who watched and participated here today in the Dust tournaments. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, thank you for another successful Dust week, and of course, we'll have another one of this in two weeks' time, the Dust 21. That'll be most definitely be in May, early parts of May, so uh, we'll see you guys then. Uh, but right now, we'll focus on the Grand Finals here on the Dust 2020. So, uh, 2020. Dust 20, what am I saying? I'm, I'm sick, I'm sorry, I have like a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but thank you so much Sago, thanks so much for MPF, and thanks so much for everybody who watched, participated, and played. Uh, let me clarify the rules of engagement here once more. Grand Finals is first to five. First to five wins. Moy needs to win two sets, get the first set and then the reset. Both are first to five, but obviously Takoyaki just needs to win the first set in order to get the Grand Finals win. Uh, all the best, uh, gentlemen. If you guys are ready, we're ready. Folks, welcome to the Dust 20 Grand Final Stage. Let's rock. It looks like Leo to me, by the way. I don't know, man. No, don't worry. I'll switch. But uh, Alrighty. Um... Let me bet. I will definitely put up a thing here. Don't don't you worry, Paul there. All right, I'll put it to five minutes. Here we go, everybody. Put in your limit box. I spent your limit box on these two amazing competitors. Who will win? Takoyaki or Moyu Rusang here on the Dust 20 counter. Sang is rocking that testament. A strong offense coming in from Roy here or Moy. Technically, this is gonna be a double P, I think. Oh my god. Everybody's just peeing all over the place. You actually get a special message if you get a double perfect on someone. Alright. Well, like I've only seen it with a, with a double when someone gets a double perfect, but you get the comment a god of war who forgot how to lose. <laughs> a god of war who forgot how to lose, damn. Um, but that Although, is game since, one. Uh, since Taco did get around it, I don't know if that still applies or if it, it, you only get a double a double P. If it's like too straight. Getting around. Also, folks. Oh. Keep tossing your coins in, we still have time. I put the timer to a very long uh, period of time. Uh, 4k on someone, I think that's Taco. Put in your limit box. Uh, Moy Rustang is up one right now. Mm. Excuse me. Man Duel one. Let's rock. 
Um, I have no clue. I don't. I don't have enough data on Testament to <laughs> to answer that question. But what I do know is that Moy's Testament is a sight to behold. Indeed. But I'm still hoping for that mirror, yo. Well, Taco has to defeat Moy first and get him off uh, Testament in order to get that switch happen. Here's a question. If, if uh, Moy manages to get the reset, mm -hmm. that's technically a brand new set. Would they, they be able to switch characters even if they were the one who yes. gets the reset? That's okay. that's considered a new set. Both are allowed to change characters. It's considered because it's considered a different bracket, basically. Even if you look at uh, our challenge, it's oh, a different well, thing. Well, while we were talking, Taco managed to bring it back again. That is true. He sold many like times. He doesn't know the matchup. Oh no! Says Paul here uh, regarding Taco versus Ta uh, sorry, Gold Lewis versus Testament. Neutral. I don't care if that joke's old. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And here we go with Moy once again getting another win here on Testament. A character that we haven't seen them play. And a character that came out barely a month ago. Oh my god, Moy is a... Moy is a powerhouse. That 6P does so much in this MU, says Kiet. Alright, let's see what adjustment Taco will do here. Uh, MPF, we're saying something? Excuse me? I thought I heard you say something. Sorry. <laughs> no, that, no, 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 no. That Sorry, might have been that. Testament mumbling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, tes Testament has a, has a, a female voice actress in um, Japanese dub. Well, technically, female voice actress in all uh, dubs, because... Uh, English dub has a trans woman voicing Tessie. Mm. And she does a very good job. But here, he, Testament is voiced by Kobayashi Yu, um, mm. uh, all star in the field, actually. I don't know if anyone plays Dong and Rafa, but she's Mahiru Koizumi. Sorry, who, sh who was she in that game? Uh, Mahiru Koizumi in uh, mm. Dong and Rafa 2 Goodbye Despair. But she's done a whole bunch of other roles. Oh, yeah, I think... Oh, but that is game three for Moi. But yeah, I'm Oof. pretty sure I've heard uh, Kobayashi Yu's name thrown around in a lot of uh, the media that I've personally watched myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, she definitely gets around. 
My god, Moy is relentless here. This is the caster's curse getting into grand finals only to be reset. I mean, well, the, almost. The, I mean, it's, you have to do it two more times, but. That is true. Uh, but let's see what uh, Taco will do here. Taco is switching themselves. Uh, oh, shit. They are rocking the Eno. Eno gaming, Eno. y'all. Yo, Taco with the surprises. Mankind knew that they Unlike me, who just commits to one person and one person hard. <laughs> I mean, I can relate to that. Like, but I understand, like, I feel like the mentality there is instead of, like, learning on our character, this time I'm spending could be time spent honing my main, you know what I'm saying? Well, we are here in game number four, Taco versus Mo uh, Moy. Ooh. Oh, 6 p him right out of the 4TC mode. All of those hops, man. Taco time, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to do it for round one. No, but Taco not gonna have that. Now I can see why people like to do the slumpies with Eno, because apparently wall breaking with her is not very beneficial most of the time, but here, this is just a key. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Taco with the Eno tech. All the Taco Dachis uh, rejoice. Now here's the question. If Taco actually does beat Moy, will Moy bring out an Eno? That's true. <laughs> that is true. Oh, here we go. Oh, I just noticed Testament T poses when they, they, they get wall splat. See that? That's a literal T pose. It's the Jesus pose. But that is oh, Taco Yaki. <laughs> Takoyaki bat finally on the board. Takoyaki on the board, Eno no less. Maybe there was a timeline when Takoyaki was uh, Eno main. Crucified probably, with a mix as parkour B. Yeah, probably mained Eno before Gold Lewis came out. Yep. That's my guess. Let's go, Taco says Kiet. All right, here we go. The man with the many mains, Moi Rustam himself. Let's see. Who they're gonna bring out for this matchup? Anji! Anji! Alright! Anji fucking Mito! This is wow! Yo, Moi is wild. Uh, we haven't seen Anji's in a hot minute. Uh, we haven't seen Peach Pie 42 participate, and as well as my very good friend Ben Morenji. Denwa Renji, yeah. Uh, so it's, it's very refreshing to see yet again another uh, Anji on there. I'd love to know the logic behind this. I didn't know, uh... Does that mean, like, the Eno-Anji matchup is actually Anji favor? Possibly, or it could be that... I mean, everyone says Anji's bottom one, so I don't know... I don't know if he actually has any favorable matchups. Well, I don't think... I personally don't think he's bottom one, because I don't think any of them are but my god, Moy with that surprise Anji! And it works out for his favor as well. Round one goes to Moy. So it looks like Orni. Eno has got the. Why did I keep going Orni? Parkour is saying all these mains and he's never been in a tournament before? God damn. This is, and this is why we host these tournaments, Parkour B. Discover talent like Moy. We're going on full Pokemon trainer here, pulling out all these characters. That's true. Oh, here we go. That is big damage. Uh, Takoyaki on the board. He goes with the speed. 
Ooh, nice for Kitsimo there. What was the Takoyaki was saying the other day? What turn, make, when turn Eno from bottom three to almost top five is the fact that they fixed her movement. And I can believe that 100%. My but that's God. Gonna be, that, that's going to be Moi taking uh, their their fourth game, I believe? Fourth game, that is true. We, so uh, we're he, one away from a reset. One away from a reset. Let's see what Takoyaki will do here. Will they go back to Goldie or will they stick with the uh, Eno uh, pick? All right, Takoyaki is pondering, is left in... Oh, here we oh, go, sticking, sticking with, with Eno. You love to see it, you love to see it. We're sticking mm -hmm. with the Eno. But I do hope it, that after the reset, we actually get a Gold Lewis mirror. <laughs> Let's see if they'll grace us with that Goldie mirror. Right now, game number six between Takoyaki and Moy Rustang. Moy Eno at making Anji is her point. bottom bitch. Wall spat into a break. One of her dub lines. Ooh, nice uh, wake up fusion. Oh, knocked out of Fortissimo. But you know with the gold burst. Getting that nice uh, guard crush with the Fortissimo. Some nice high low mixies. Oh, but Anji's not out yet. Both of their corner pressure is goddamn scary. I don't care what anyone says. I know most of Anji's is fake, but if you lose the Fujin guessing game, you're pretty much screwed. Mm -hmm. At least in my experience. All right, we're almost at reset point. Not quite, though. Oh, Kachofu gets oh. to Kai Chiki. With a Pino let's less. Okay, here. Let's go. We're going into a reset. Folks, this is the Dust Counter 20 reset. We're going back to zero, folks. We're going back to zero. Congratulations to Moy Rustang. They, they can both switch characters because I want to see the Gold Lewis booty. They back. can switch characters. They're allowed to. Maybe give him a moment to cool off. Uh huh. Here we go. Once again, we are now even zero and zero. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. This is the final set of the evening. Thank you to Takoyaki and thank you, of course, to MPEF uh, for helping me out this evening. And of course, everybody who played participated. Thank you so much, folks. It Where is else lovely. Would I be? This is amazing. We have the Dust Counter 2020. Uh, I keep saying 2020. What's wrong? With oh, that? we got we got Golos. Oh, back here in we go. Here. We have the we get we go. That mirror. The prophecy has been fulfilled. <laughs> Someone was listening to the caster's desk. Very oh, beautiful. Oh, here, here we go. go. You love the, to the see big it. Big booty reset. Big booty reset indeed. Let's go. I like a big butts and I cannot I lie. I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When Gold Lewis walks in with a, a really big waist and a round thing in your face, you Instant. get this huh. behemoth typhoon. <laughs> All right, let's go. Game one. <laughs> Double Goldie. So, I'm very glad I asked Moi um, right after, that, right before that interview, or, or during the interview rather. Um, who should I put for his banner? Because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be it's very questionable who to put. This man is talented on every character. It seems like I kind of want to see how they do how they play Faust. Sorry, what? Play who? I kind of want to. I want to see how. Oh, Moy, Faust. If, if Moy, if Moy has, has any Faust knowledge at all. I wouldn't put it past them. They probably do. 
But here we go. Taco is getting his engine revved up. And gets around. Wow, round start. I believe that was 5P. I mean, sometimes 5P is the, the best option for a round start. But yeah. this might be another P, possibly. That yes, combo it will was be. Wild, and that is a P, my God. Moy Rustang taking game one. In your reset, no less. And finishing it off, it's style. All right, let's see how Taco will adjust here. We still get what if TV? Taco brings out the uh, happy chaos? <laughs> no, I I think uh, it was uh, it was Moy that uh, joked about happy chaos. I no, think. but uh, yes, but also like, what if? <laughs> Wait, does, Just, does does Taco play happy chaos? I don't know. I couldn't. I wouldn't put it past them if if um, they've at least dabbled with the happy chaos. I know if I tried to dabble into happy chaos, I would Do be disowned what? from the fandom. Oh. Strong opening coming in from Roy here. Wall spat into a super that is big damage into the wall break. Attention advantage will go to Takoyaki. Alright, round Is one goes to Taco. Gold Lewis's theme is a banger, and you can't tell me otherwise. Well, it is. Definitely in my S tier of uh, themes. Honestly, like, here's the thing. I, I'm obviously not a fan of every song in the GGST lineup. Oh my god! Oh my god! Double system! Let's go! Ooh! My government is stronger than your government, says Moy Rustang. <laughs> yeah, so it's same as it. Um, like, obviously, I'm not a fan of every song, but even though I'm not a fan of every song in the GGST lineup, all of them are bangers. Like, just from a, just from a technical perspective. Like, the songs that I don't like, a lot of people are fans of, and obviously the songs that I like, a lot of people don't like as well. I, mean, I won't say a lot, but like, um, it, it covers such a big spectrum, and all of them are such bangers. It's just that. Oh yeah. The CLC is just an amazing, amazing uh, album. All right, so we to got speak. we got Taco back on the board at one one. That is true. Taco is on the board one and one right now, but this win also allows uh, Moy Rustang to once again dip into his vast pool of characters so with the way he quickly jumped back in i think we're going back we're with going the in with the goldie we're, we're running it with goldie all right game number three between takoyaki and moi rustang Oh my goodness, it's just a kaiju battle in the corner right now. I know! Are you familiar with uh, Tokusatsu? Uh, Tokusatsu. Like Godzilla, Ultraman, oh, Kamen Rider. Oh, oh, the, oh yeah, like the, the, the kaiju things. I personally like Mothra. Mm. This, this is just that. <laughs> this is just that. So wait, would Anji be Mothra? Most of the girls, so... I mean... Uh-oh! Oh my god! Ooh. Pain! Who took that? Okay, we have Moy taking that round. Sometimes it's very confusing to uh, pass when it's oh. a mirror match. Well, just it's, Taco's in the brown and Moy's in the purple. That's how I know. 
I just look at the health bars. Uh, but here we go. Oh my god, Storm Power pressure coming in from Moy. One sliver of health. System coming out for Taco. Oh, but the Thunderbird! Thunderbird right comes through. out and takes that game. Moy is up two and one. Let's see if Takoyaki will stick with their guns here. Or will they swap out? Oh, they're going in, the they're booty. going in. All right, game number four, ladies and gentlemen, here on your Dust 20 counter. Empty burst oh. blocked. Oh, and that oh, empty burst was Oh, that was, was a bad, just as bad of a burst. Taco hey, taking God, huge good. advantage, putting him in the corner. The battle of the Goldlers. Let's go, Moy. Welcome to the chat, my friend. Ooh, nice round start. Uh, Moy uh, has Moy is the not letting Taco even press a button after that. Jesus, Louisa, please. Throw whip there. Did they get punished? Alright, this time Taco is bringing in the heat. Uh, well, take. Is it such an advantage? All, yeah, and, and meter advantage, but doesn't even need to use it. And that is Taco on the board once more. <laughs> All right, folks. You all were right yesterday, though. I do not know the Axel matchup. Uh, rip. I was fighting for my life. <laughs> Well, uh, I want to see you back again in two weeks, uh, uh, Gawood. I know, I know your name in Challenge. I'm just blanking out. That's not your name in Challenge, but uh, <laughs> I want to see you back next uh, in two weeks. Here we go once again, my God! Just. Strong hits left and right. Oh my! And this Seems behemoth like type food. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh, God! That's fast. Oh, sixty clash. I guess I can see why people wouldn't like the Gold Lewis mirror if it's so one-sided, depending on who gets the first damn hit. Oh, Thunderbird not doing uh, Takoyaki many favors, but that doesn't seem to matter much. Let's go, oh, boy. Oh, but Taco following up. It's just a big boom, boom, boom! Oh, it's, look at that magic pixel going! It's just heavy hits left and right, but once again, so Taco is, is on two, the board. So was that 2 2 It's I a 3-2 three, two now. 3-2. Three, 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 two. Three, two. Yep. Advantage uh, Takoyaki. Now Moi is on the back foot for once. Uh, let's see if Moi will swap characters here, or will they stick with the Goldie? They will stick with the Goldie! Do you think? Just do, no. do you think uh, Moy will be pushed to the brink where he will drop Goldie in this uh, uh, in this reset? I I don't know. I know they could easily. Go I feel like they're Destin determined to stick time. to the Goldie. Maybe they were switching characters at the beginning to make a point. Mm -hmm. 
And now that they got the reset they wanted, this one. they're going in balls to the walls with the booty. Oh, double Thunderbird. Oh, but both canceling each other out despite one having a higher security level. At least that's how it looks to me. Is this, a, this is the Grand Finals reset, uh, Gawood. Oh, burning it all down, I see, but no, no, not enough time for it to activate. This is actually the first time I've seen that super all tournament. Mm -hmm. Another Thunderbird. Oh, getting caught in the air with a cross up. But Roy is right back on that shin. Ooh. Taco answering back with a grab there, continuing this pressure. Oh, Moy did not get to play much in that round. And that is Taco now at tournament point at four. Oh boy, so let's see what happens. Do okay, this is the last chance for Moy to swap out. Let's see if Moy changes characters here. Standing there a while, that might mean they this, are. This might be a character swap. Wait, wait. So, what is it? Oh, we got oh, the testament. Oh, they're bringing the testament. Okay, here we go. All right. Taco on uh, Goldie. Moy on testament. <laughs> I was, I was real talk. I was going to say uh, Taco on Goldick and Moy on Testy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> game number uh, uh, seven. Taco's kind of on a roll here, so that it may not be enough now, for, even with the character switch. Oh once you my just get god! To a, once, you, once you just get to a vibe, it just yeah. Taco's going engine going, is like, just way too hot bunny. right now. It's just and way now, too hot. Taco is at tournament point, guys. He was gonna pop he out the testament. That is true, god. This is like night and day. Batman's oh, moving. Oh my god. With a turn oh. as well. And a wall break. Oh my god. All, all of the advantage going to Takoyaki. Which in will in which might be the final round. But Moy Rustang is not having any of it. I but there we go. Oh, and at, I believe that is Taco taking the tournament. And that is indeed Taco taking the tournament. Amazing Congrats, set. For doing what I couldn't. Double amazing set. Double amazing set coming in from these oh, two guys. Holy man. shit. And let's invite both of them. Congratulations, Taco! God, let's go! Yeah, you, you deserve to celebrate right now. Alright, let's invite uh, Moy. Hold on, Moy. Oh, oh my god. god. So, uh, I was... Oh, I know what happened. I know exactly why I won that, and I'm so proud. <sighs> so about halfway through, right, I was starting to get really tilted, really annoyed. And in between the games, I just took a break, closed my eyes, and just thought to myself, uh, stay focused, stay calm. And I think that really kind of helped me pull through. Mm -hmm. And I stopped overthinking things. I just played more carefully, played more um, slowly made more rational decisions and i think that really ended up like yeah well well played my friend well played Indeed. um but let's let's talk to the other half of that so grand finals of you that amazing amazing grand win. finals uh um, moy moy uh amazing run on the grand finals oh, taking totally. the taking the first set creating a reset uh, ultimately, you didn't. Those other character switches, my God! Mm -hmm. do, you have, do you do you have a Faust in there too? Because I would love to face off against that. Uh, I have Faust, but he's just more like a, I play him for fun, like because I just play him for the item super. That's pretty mm. much it. <laughs> that's a that's a great reason to play. Fair him. enough. I'm a little bit disappointed you didn't go Gold Lewis off the bat, but um, at least I got to play some of it. 
that was specifically a matchup I wanted to test. Actually, I, f I was gonna, because I actually saw you last night, right before I hopped off when you were fighting Darkrai. I was actually testing Testament against his uh, Gold Lewis. Oh, okay. And so I wanted to test it in this matchup as well, and I figured that you know it's probably a good matchup for yeah, Testament. Yeah, like we were mm -hmm. sitting, like me, me and Limit were saying you were probably doing it to make a point, and I guess we were kind of right. So like once I once I once I figured out that yeah this is pretty much like as long as I'm paying attention to neutral then it's a it's pretty much testament favorite so I figured you know let's have fun with Gold Lewis Mirror. Yeah, and then I think I really just started realizing what you were doing with testament and a lot of it I could just beat um, on that last game because I stopped I stopped thinking wow this is really annoying because this matchup sucks and I started thinking this matchup sucks what can I do to make it suck less. Yeah, minigun's pretty I useful. Then. I don't actually, I don't actually find minigun too useful unless it's at level three. Yep. Otherwise, I don't, because you don't get anything off of it, and you still don't get amazing OP without meter on mm -hmm. level three. Yep. Um, mm. but yeah, yeah, you just that one's pretty fun. I haven't done a gold Lewis mirror in a while now. Mhm. Mm all right well congratulations to taco and once again moy amazing amazing gameplay uh let's check in on chat they're saying uh taco is gaming proud taco dachi gaming ggs all from you moy and of course taco way too good but of course guys uh, moy the man with the the multitude of mains amazing amazing run as well my friend um we hope to see you in the next one my friend. <laughs> we want to see you in the next one dude good. we want to see you in the next one we have this every two weeks um, any parting words to everybody who watched and support us uh, today, Moy? Um, GG's everyone, it was a really fun set, especially for my first tournament. Ran into a lot of experienced players too, and then got to learn a lot of different matchups, so thanks everyone. Oh, I do have to ask, um, what is your fighting game background? Like, Strive is my first. Sorry? Strive is my first. Strive is your first. No ah. kidding! It's also my first, actually. Oh, these guys are... New to new to fighting games, Gerald. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like. Oh. I mean, I've been playing fighting games for a long time, but only casually. I think I only started getting super competitive with Plus R, mm -hmm. and then moving into Strive. So. Yeah. Let's see. I have 600 hours in Strive, and that's my only fighting game. I mean, I played a few others a little bit. I played like Blaze Blue a little bit. Played some King, uh, KOF, but nothing more than like 50 hours other than. Mm. Uh, right. Strive. Neon's gone going, let's go, Moy. Moy fans, rise up. Moy, let's rise up. Taco and I are ex Smash players that might count depending on who you ask. That is true. Idol Idol ask Neon right there on the bottom. Uh, they will answer you that. Moy's our boy. <laughs> there we go. There's a Smash uh, meme for they, you. Well, yeah, I did play Smash. I don't count that as a fighting game, though. And I never really. I mean, I played it. Semi, I, I would say semi competently. I did not play it competitively, mm -hmm. but I, I, at one point I like I bought Esam on stream and I took a game and I realized, huh, I'm like okay at this. Uh, mm -hmm. But then I never really, I never really took it too far after that. Okay. I mean, you're ahead. That's always smart. I guess if you count Smash, then I guess Smash is my first fighting game. Mm -hmm. But I played it I don't for Bond for a, then a competitive level. Uh, if you coming in from up. God though, let's go, Moy. You did great. Thank you. That was a really fun set. Did you everyone? Smash is a fighting game, period, says Neon. I... I it's just not... It, it's a fighting game. It's not like a, a fighting game. Like, it's it's hard to describe. It sort of fits into the category, sort of doesn't. Yeah. Alright, we're, we're getting into hot topic territory. <laughs> uh, many, many a debate yeah. has been had for this. Um, I refrain to... That, um... Was that 5-2, the last uh, grand? The last two was 5-2, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I just didn't bother updating the score. Uh, fighting game, Smash is a fighting game, just not a traditional one, says Polvere. Uh Platform fighters are way different, says Polvere. Uh <laughs> It's a platform fighter, they made a game genre for it, I am done, <laughs> says Neon. Uh, but here's the thing, um, let's get back on topic here. Thank you so much, Moi, thank you so much. Uh, Taco, uh, and of course to Yuki. Yuki, if you're still watching, thank you so much. Congratulations to all three of you guys, and of course to Top 8. I'll make the banner shortly. Uh, thank you so much. And of course, as a caster, thank you so much, Taco and MPF. Mm -hmm. Thank you so oh, much. always. That was so fun. Uh, do you have and any parting I, words? And I, and, and I wish Takoyaki and Limit a very get well soon. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I'm struggling with yeah. a throat situation right now, so I, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm a bit more reserved with my uh, speech today. Just because yeah, uh, I'm the one who's kind of going all over the I have, place. So. I have popped this many strep sills throughout this tournament. Yeah, I was, um, <laughs> I, I had a sore throat, but I, I, I had a sore throat and I decided not to be conservative before, with my voice, and I decided, I realized that's probably not the best of ideas. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. There was a lot of, there was a lot of popping off after I won. Um, but once again, but thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, MPF, any parting words? Um... I don't know if I have a parting word, but I'm going to see if I could do, uh, uh, for, for your, uh, hold on, hold on, for, for, for everyone's sake in here, I'm redeeming this and redeeming oh, this. Oh, thank you. Thank so you, you guys could feel better. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. All right, folks, that is it uh, for us tonight. Once again, the Dust 2020, uh, <laughs> the Dust 21 will be in two weeks time, exactly two weeks time. Uh, it will be on a Saturday once more. Of course, if you guys play Skull Girls, we have Skull Girls this Friday. And uh, I play a variety of games in general. If you guys want to hang out and actually use the limit box that you guys have, actually redeem it for uh, stuff that you can... Oh yeah, you're right, Polvier. Thank you so much for reminding me. Money. Here you go. Here you go, my friend. There you go. That is Money, the prediction please. done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Why do you have to add the ooh to that? Cause that's because that's what I hear when I see the please. Please. Yay! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh no, oh no, oh no. Anyway, impress you how that's what's like for all the for all the takodachis for all the. Sh for all the uh, the shrimps, for all the deadbeats, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. Have a happy Monday. Thanks for coming to Slam. Don't forget you're blazing. If you guys want to hang out, check out my regular streams. If you guys play Elden Ring, I post Elden Ring videos almost every day. And of course, I will post uh, our tournament on YouTube as well. Uh, congratulations for again to our top eight and to our top three. Uh, Over once. One of us to say please again, so please, 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 please. Oh. Oh, I should make that a freaking. Uh, we need, we need a please. Please. Oh god, ooh. like we can, like we can just, I can just record myself going please, ooh, ooh, and we can make that a limit bucks redemption thing. We should, we should. <laughs> like my money, please. My ooh, money, ooh. please. Ooh. Oh, I oh, know. <laughs> oh god. What the fuck are we doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> what is it stream devolved into? Yeah, we have this tournament. This tournament has devolved into uh, VTuber territory. Um, oh, now, 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 now uh, I, I can make it even better. Imagine that in a Potemkin voice. Oh, and Moy has just been sitting here the whole time. Just like, what the fuck is like, going on? What did I get into? Is this what tournaments are like? This is my first one. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> long, long story short, yes, this is what perfect. This is exactly like. what happens. Every term, even in Evo. Like, <laughs> oh, <perfect. laughs> That's not what happens at Evo. <laughs> Maybe it is, who knows? Not with that attitude. <laughs> with that, that's true, not with that attitude. Um, but we are, we're, we're, um, we're, uh, procrastinating here. Yeah, you guys yeah. have, you, it's a Sunday night. Rest well, have an amazing week ahead. Thanks for coming to Slam. Don't forget to blazing. Limit out. Uh, Thank you. Uh, also, another story coming out this Friday. Who's excited? Oh, is it this Friday? Yes, I think it is. Oh yes. my fucking god! Now, oh shit! Oh, I fuck. I have skull girls. It's, oh, you're gonna have to stream that at some point, Limit. I will. God. Mm. Well, I'll, 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 I'll do something. You'll figure it out. Well, I'll figure it out. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, okay, anyway. I know where I'm going to be binge watching and hoping that Faust doesn't get pushed to the side for Ram with all fan service. We're going to I'm going to stream that hardcore on Friday. I'm going to I'm going to not watch it because I, I don't know why I haven't watched the story but <laughs> But yeah, well, good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Good night everyone. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm not saying that. Do it. Do it. No. <laughs>